Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you by the grace of God. I am in terrible shape. I'm just looking at myself in the preview, how red my face looks. For those of you that, Jesus, that is one blotchy looking dome. Yeah, uh, if you missed on Friday, I started having a live allergic reaction to something. And this weekend was brutal, man. It, I think it looks better than it did. Mm. I mean, on Saturday. The weekend was, was peak mm -hmm. messed up. But uh, it's itchy. And I, I hate to say this, but like my nether regions is so bad. And it's so itchy. And it's just my face and my ween. And, uh, you know, it's kind of embarrassing, too, because I'm constantly itching my myself. Mm -hmm. And it looks like I'm playing with myself. It's one of the advantages, really. Yeah, um, I get away with it. There's no way I could I could touch myself in any meaningful way right now. You know what I mean? Mm. It's all just pain. Bummer. I know. <laughs> uh, I think you got to go to the doctor. I don't know. You I need think to it's see a medical better. professional. I don't know about that. Well, we appreciate I mean, you still coming out. No, it is. It is getting better. I'm telling you, on the weekend, it was even more messed up. Okay. Because it definitely, it looks significantly worse than it did on Friday. Well, I, I shaved off, off. The first thing I did is I went home and shaved off the beard so I could see the damage. Mm -hmm. I've just, I've never had a, an allergic reaction before. So the whole thing is pretty baffling to me. And but, even after, like, reflecting, you, you can't think of any... Uh, I mean, the only thing is Different. the soap, but like, right. you tell me what you think about the soap. I had used this soap many times before. Mm -hmm. It sat dormant for like two years for some reason. I busted it out, used it on my beard the night before. Can, I mean, can soap go bad? I don't know. I, I, don't. I, don't, I have no idea, but like, it just seems odd that I've used it before. And then I, it, soap doesn't strike me as something that can go bad. Soap can expire. Does it make you... Oh, we have... <laughs> I was just looking at our thumbnail. We have Mr. Beast and Elon. Beautiful. Spicy. Soaking mold. Yeah, you know, and I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and be a proud man before you, but I also sharted. You told me you weren't going to share that. I know, but I have to share everything on the I, air. I knew, I knew that one last. <laughs> <laughs> just last <laughs> night... Sitting there all blotched up and sad. And I've also been on Benadryl, so I've just been like sleeping all the time and like in a, in a state of semi consciousness. <laughs> you <laughs> wake up, put on some cream, pass out, shit myself, eat some food. <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun. But it's Monday, it's Asia TV. You know I'm getting coming here, boy. Lots yeah. of people saying that soap definitely goes bad. So, but can it give you an allergic reaction? I just found yeah, it. yeah. Okay, so then it was the soap. It was Sounds the, like it. It was the soap. I threw it out. I will not be using that again. With peace and love. <laughs> and I'll yeah. I mean, <laughs> the irony of using a soap that makes your face explode. Hmm. Anyway, Alan Alanis would be so proud. Who would be proud? Alanis Morissette. Oh, said. isn't it ironic? Isn't it ironic when you just shit your pants? <laughs> oh, how about this? <laughs> just got out of the shower and I just shit my pants. <laughs> That's what happened. So ironic. So much pain coming from my face. <laughs> it's a red hue. <laughs> It's a red hue on a blue day. It's like taking Benadryl when you're already late. Now I'm snoozing in the car and I crashed on the side. Who would have thought it caused rectal bleeding? <laughs> yeah. Good I'm job, bleeding guys. from my butt and I'm not even on my period. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm trying to. It's trying to. I'm trying to be ironic. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, you know what? You're here. This is going to be like when Jordan played with food poisoning. People will talk about this day for years to come. Who? Jordan? Michael Jordan. Yeah, he played with food poisoning. And oh, still he won. did? Yeah. And did, did he shit himself? Uh, no, he held it. Well, how, what, how did people know he had food poisoning? What was all that hype about? Uh, he was... He was pretty messed up. I mean, you could see it. You could see it in just his performance. He was struggling. Well, pe- yeah. Wasn't it, people didn't think he had food poisoning. People just thought he was sick, right? It's only because you've watched uh, The Last Dance 5,000 times that you... Uh, I watched... Because that was the revelation wait, in that documentary. You, you watched that, that documentary more than once? I keep it on loop. AB puts it on the oh. TV every day in the studio. Well, you, well you've actually stopped because we started making fun of you. Do you love it. that? I heard it's good. I haven't it seen it. It is really good. It's really do. good documentary. I don't even watch basketball, but I love it. But he just would I guess have I it on his it. like background noise. <laughs> that that inspired you to like that inspired you to do something, right, AB? If it wasn't for that documentary, I wouldn't have this job today. I'll say that. <laughs> wow. It's done so much for you. What about me? Fuck well, Michael Jordan. Obviously you. Yeah, directly you, but like five percent, Michael Jordan. Was it a playoff game or something? I think it was. Yeah. So uh, this is my this is my food poisoning day. Yeah, games four and five in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um. Anyway, thank you to Quip, Me Undies, and HelloFresh. <laughs> we got a great show today, as usual. You know what, what it is. Got the Benadryl coming. I, I wonder, do I need to keep taking Benadryl? That's you what I'm. You go to a doctor. Oh, well, I, well, in the absence of a doctor. I don't. Dan. I mean, has the Benadryl helped at any point? I think so. It's hard to tell, you know, but I think it like reduces the itching and stuff. Right now, I'm very itchy. Well, yeah, violet, I mean. you're turning violet, Violet. You don't have. You Stop to drive telling me to see a doctor, Dan. <laughs> well, you hey, keep brother. like you're asking for like advice from a bunch of dumbasses back here. Yeah, I want chat to tell me, Excuse give me medical me? advice. Oh, I that's even worse. I out of med school. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Here, wait. Let's get. Let, I'll do what chat says. <laughs> I'm not oh, a doctor. No, I'm a don't fucking let, moron. Don't let chat. Here, let's do a poll. This. Let's do a poll. Ethan's face looks great. Someone said. Oh. Ethan, nice. go to a doctor. Block him. No, I'm kidding. I'm fine, you guys. It's just a little rash. It's fine. You good, bro? Everyone wants me to see a doctor. Guys, what? Oh, uh, it's just a rash. The doctor's not going to do anything. I've been enough times to the doctor. They just say, hey, put a little fucking thing on it, huh? Here's some, the doctors go, here's some Motrin. It's extra strength ibuprofen to make you think I did something for you, even though you can buy this shit from any pharmacy. I think they, you have some kind of contact dermatitis that actually can be healed pretty quickly with some cream, TBH. But we won't know unless you try. Well, here, if you think cream will, if you think cream will fix me, then explain this. <laughs> this is what I was all weekend. <laughs> Looking good. That is a mixture of moisturizer Aloe, ah. <laughs> and uh, and that one anti-itch cream. What is it? Hydrocortisone. Yeah, Hem- hydrocortisone. Hemorrhoid cream. And hemro and anal. <laughs> advanced anal bleeding. Some cream. gold bond just yeah. kind of mixed in there for good measure. Here is a side by side of me and Chewy. <laughs> Little Joker esque. Maybe Joker just had allergies. What if Joker had allergies? Beatbox. Oh, you think that that's that's why he's so crazy? Mm-hmm. It's itchy. It's all. <laughs> you know, our pop up was over the um, <coughs> weekend. First of all, the pop up was a huge success. Honestly, thank you guys, everyone who came out, and my sincere apologies to everybody who didn't make it in there. There was there was more people than we expected, actually. And with me and Elis canceling the signing, I thought maybe there'd be less people. We were kind of afraid no one would be there, to be honest. But there was lots of people there, and, you know, the crew and everyone did an amazing job. You guys have all made a, an appearance, right? Mm-hmm. Popped in for a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. AB was working it, too. He was working it. But, you know, we tried. It, it was a really long line, and for some reason it was like the hottest fucking day. I mean, we're in, like, mid-November now. And just a freak occurrence happened to be that that day was super hot. So we were passing out water bottles, trying to make sure everyone was hydrated and stuff like that. 
But uh, I'm very sorry to people who waited a long time and didn't get in. That really sucks. And uh, I'm very sorry. But to everyone else who got in was was a lot of fun. Here, I have a little video here. It was It was a great event, you know. We put a lot into it, so I'm glad that those that got in enjoyed it. Nice resolution, eh? Oh, that might be my bad. <laughs> it's like 140p? Damn, who shot this masterpiece? It's on a retro uh, camera <laughs> to get the right vibe. Here. Is this, is this uh, your, your editing, A.B.? It is not. This is the uh, cinematographer you guys hired. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So this is the first time for me seeing this Watching video. This video. <laughs> wow, the music's like so Very inspiring. inspirational, yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys wanted something funny? The movers, when they're removed. So these big statuettes. Look at those guys. I know them. These big statuettes, which were sick, by the way. How, how tall was this Bugs Bunny? Like 12 feet? Yeah, something like that. So Warner Brother loaned it to us for the event. And the movers, uh, at the end of the event, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't touch it. Fucking his head fell off. Oh, Bugs' yeah. head fell off. Wait, for real? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. The oh. movers were bringing it back, and they decapitated Bugs. And we had oh. nothing to do with it. With peace and love, it was not us. Wow. Were the movers hired by Warner Brothers? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. thank God. <laughs> but I, I heard that they were all like just yeah very stressed because the, these seemed like not something you can easily reproduce. Nope. I think that may be the last time they loan these babies out. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, folks. Exactly. I want to change the song on this piece of love. <laughs> you don't feeling inspired? No. Hmm. I think it needs to be more fun than like this is these are the days we're gonna remember when we're old. This is our town. Yeah. This is our city, our time. What does this song tell you? It's like these are the days of our lives. On my deathbed, reflecting on it all. <laughs> this isn't my first rodeo. Yes. Yeah, so, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. Here, I'll show a photo. I didn't make the cut. I wasn't in there. No, you weren't. You never got inside. It's fucked. No, I'm not in the fucking video. Oh well. Okay, Dan. But it was really fun. I mean, we had like the food was bomb. The, food was the, the, very the bomb. nails and the spray painting was super cool. Here, let's see. So here's shout out Monty's. Did you know that they're fans? Monty's? Yeah. 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 Like the owner of the place? No, like I get whoever was working the food. Yeah. Truck. I like so, walked up oh, and they were. Cool. And she knew my name. <laughs> hey, Dan. Hell yeah, dude. I'm not alone. Hey. I'm not the only one. Actually, I saw a post on Reddit of your voice cracking like three years ago, and it said, Dan walked so A.B. could run. <laughs> That's my voice cracking. Hit him with that beta, more. Zach. Beta. But yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm horrible with names, but the girl beta. recognized us, and she was uh, very kind. I think her name was Stephanie. <laughs> I remember that. Right. Shout you out remember Stephanie. That? Shout out Stephanie. Yeah, we, had a, did. we had a bunch of these statuettes from Warner Brothers. It was really cool. Um, Ela went there with uh, Bella Porch. So there was like a thousand people showed up, I guess, and six hundred got to go through. But a lot of people waited and didn't get in. I'm sad to say. Yeah, and I I apologize to anyone at the end who I said I believe you would get in. I was just passing along the message. Ooh. Oh, well, a I was I was B. trying my best to help out from home, but I was like, tell just pick a place in line. And where people, you tell them, you will guarantee to get in, and everyone else behind you won't, won't be able to get in, so that people don't wait. I don't know what exactly went down, though. AB did that. Everyone saw that. But I saw lots of fan <laughs> love for AB passing out water and shit. It was awesome. It was really cool meeting everyone. Yeah, so the collection, by the way, comes out on this Thursday on the website, teddyfresh.com. Oh, yeah, the hamburgers, we had a fucking iron, dude. How sick is that? We made a custom-made uh, branding iron to <laughs> do on the bun. Yep. 
The What's Teddy, that? Teddy Fresh Burger. Made with real bear meat, actually. No, not yeah, true. It was, no, it it was it vegan. True. No. No, it was vegan. It's made from black bears. <laughs> What's the most, uh, uh, agri yeah, whatever's the most endangered. We oh, made probably grizzly, the, actually, yeah. Or polar. Polar bear. Yeah. Oh, that's why I was so gamey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> polar bear meat. That was very expensive to import that. <laughs> panda? Yeah, panda. <laughs> it's panda <laughs> meat. Um, <clears throat> Are Monty's available in L.A.? I want another. Yeah, there. It's a. It's a local. Um, not really chain. I think there's a few locations in L.A. But yeah, it's. Um, yeah, it's an L.A.-based yeah. vegan uh, burger spot. Mm -hmm. It's called Monty's Good Burger. Yep. Um, I don't know why these links aren't working, but anyway, it was a great time. I had a great job to the team to put it together. It was a lot of work. It was a big project for us. The first one. But I think we're going to look into getting a permanent uh, store. So the next time we do something like this, we're, it's going to be more than one day. Everyone's going to be able to come. Brick, My, and, brick and mortar. Brick and, brick and morty. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to do a brick and mortar store now. That's crazy. Here in L.A.? Mm-hmm. Hmm? We're looking at options now. Going to go down, be down on uh, Fairfax with all the other hype beasts? I'm not sure. We're, we're, we're considering a lot of places. You know what's funny? We were looking at Rodeo Drive. That's like in Beverly, just curiosity, right? So Rodeo Drive is this shopping place in Beverly Hills that has all of the super luxury brands like Gucci and Chanel. Yeah. So I, we, we were looking at property there. Well, Chanel bought a building there a couple years ago. It was $150 million. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was like, mm, slightly out of our budget. 2,000 square feet. There was another story of some guy that bought a building there for $50 million and then approached, um, there's this one mega brand that owns like Gucci and Louis Vuitton and all these. Yeah, right. I, I forget the name of it, but he approached it to them to, to lease. So he paid $50 million for it. The next day he approached them and they offered him like $110 million to buy it. So he made a one day flip <laughs> That's for like $60 million. Good deal. Yeah, it's like... L did, did you look I was yeah, going to say, yes. it's, it's like a bunch of letters. Yeah, you know? LV, yeah, exactly. Uh, like third, fourth richest person in the world? How was that? Remember looking up recently? Yeah, he's one of the richest, absolutely. But anyway, I'm proud of the team. I'm proud of ELA. It was an awesome event, and I'm very happy people had fun, and I'm very sorry that some people didn't get in with peace and love. But if you want to go to TeddyFresh.com, the Black Friday sale is still going on. There's lots of stuff to pick up. And this Thursday, Looney Tunes will be out. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> if you want to call in, 808-HOT-MEME is available. We out here. Share your stories. That's hot. Seeing all that made me want to watch some old Looney Tunes. i got to figure out where, where you can watch Looney Tunes nowadays. YouTube, probably. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> They're all on uh, the Boomerang uh, streaming service. Boomerang? Yeah. Is that a For joke at Boomers? Boomers? Probably. Where the Boomers watch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Lovebot at 4 a.m. <laughs> you get <for> life. <laughs> <laughs> that's why the oh, office is so boy. messed up in the yeah, morning. I was wondering what's going on. That's well, why that's he's always actually, not parked, too. That's pretty impressive, I gotta say. <laughs> that's right. they, yeah, that's they, good. That was, that was something. Thank you for that. What is it? What is this, AB? Which one? I have it highlighted right here. AB wants me to acknowledge a photo of his head wrapped. What the fuck does that mean? Warped. Warped. Oh, shit, yeah, dude, this girl's hilarious. <laughs> Yo, this girl, okay, fucking, first of all, this girl said, I drove from Arizona to L.A. for the pop-up, waited eight hours and didn't get in. I'm very, very sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, but she posted this picture of A.B., and he, what's up with this photo, bro? She definitely photoshopped you. Yeah, you can clearly tell from the wires behind me that it is photoshopped. I'm not Mandark. <laughs> you Are like you sure? I hope not. Because sometimes they have little divots in them, the wires. 
Mm. <laughs> I don't know what this, I don't know if this is a TikTok trend or what. It is, but, it is. Yeah. I've seen that oh, where they okay. Photoshop their friend and see if they notice. But she fucked you up. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> let me read the comments and see if people are saying anything. That ain't A B, that's A D. <laughs> <laughs> Why does A B look like Dan? Oh come on, that's uncalled for. That's fucked up. Bad. Why did she Photoshop him to look like that? Why did, okay, so everybody's seeing it. I think that's hilarious, dude. Ugly, you're disgusting, I'm gonna kill you. And the, if you look in the doc, I included under that another link. Cam helped me uh, find the real photo. Wait, where? Oh, here it is. Oh, wow, you actually went in there? Okay, so, ha ha. Here's uh, AB all memed out, and she's got a big dome. <laughs> <laughs> little revenge for that's you. That's I feel redeemed. No, she was very sweet. Did you take you a minute to... Did you think this was real for a second or what? <laughs> like, I'm never wearing a beanie again. No, I thought it was real <laughs> I, I, when I first saw it. When you guys sent it in the chat. What did she do? Just increase your dome size? I think she smushed my head and stretched out the sides. <laughs> Dude, this is so funny. <laughs> this is the best. Wow, so good. <clears throat> Love her for this. <laughs> Small update. All of Looney Tunes is on HBO Max. And if you'd oh, like to sign up for HBO friend Max, of the show. <laughs> use our link. Shout out. Yeah, so um, Mike Magilic and Aiden Ross admit Ethan was right and the Klaus House was a failure. Wow, that's quite a headline. Yo, the Cloud House is done. Mike Magilic gave up his fucking... Well, I guess they're back together, him and... Right? Am I falling that right? Who knows? You're talking about his girlfriend or whatever? Lena or uh, Lana Rhodes. <laughs> <coughs> on again, off again. Yeah, it was hilarious thing. that Mike le left his girlfriend, Lana Rhodes, to start a clout house with FaZe Blanks and Aiden Ross. Basically a scam house, if I'm being honest. Like, what goes on there other than shilling gambling to minors or illegal uh, you know, residents of the United States, what actually goes on there. Okay, and also, you guys can live in your own house and also do illegal shit. Like, you don't have to live together to do illegal shit. If, the, if I'm going to do illegal shit and make money, I want to at least live nice before I go to prison, you know? I think they do more than scam. There was once a murder in that house. Hmm. Keemstar, rest in peace! <laughs> well, all, Straight you know murder. What? The Cloud House was not a failure. It was a massive success I, by this moment only. This is a W. Wow. Seconds before tragedy. <laughs> Mike is actually a good guy. He did something good. That moment when his girlfriend knew she needed to get the fuck out of there. Look at her face. <laughs> <laughs> when you see your boyfriend get baited that hard, you gotta go. Anyway, this is so sad, you guys. Uh, the cloud house is gone. Golly. It's tragic. <laughs> Basically, what he's saying is, guess what, H3 and Trisha Payne is? Oh. The content house didn't work out. You were right. Oh, you guys he were actually right. did you give it up. That's nice. <laughs> Straight up. <clears throat> oh, I, th <clears throat> I thought it was facetious. Nope. Well, what a guy. That makes me like Kurt him now. Uh, and I know you're going to cut all this shit out, but... <laughs> Basically, what he's saying is, guess what, H3 and Trisha Paytas? Oh. The content house didn't work out. You were right. You guys were right. You <laughs> called it the green curtain. Remember, he called it like a crack. What did he say? Like, it was like a crackhead shit. We weren't all on the same page, Just man. Just me and you. Is there That's, yeah. There you go. It could have worked, yeah. Aiden. This dream could have been yours. <laughs> You're a big boy, Aiden. It's time to move out and be on your own. And get a damn curtain, for real. It's kind of interesting to see that, you know, my, our feedback really, uh, they heard it. <laughs> our, our, our constructive criticism didn't fall on deaf ears. Well, some good came out of that house because it led to the fall of Keem with that video. The cringe video took place there. Yes, yeah, we, we just talked that. about that for like 10 minutes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was checking something. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I Listen, thought maybe you, you were talking about a different if video. I I have, like, <laughs> if I'm not listening, it's because I'm watching you're, something. That I have. You're, you're always three steps <laughs> ahead and that. two steps behind. It's 20D well, fuck chess. Me, right? No, no, AB's playing 25D chess right now. He's actually in the quantum realm. 
I'll return shortly. <laughs> okay, bitch. It was never even a content house. It was supposed to be a house of people with like ideas all working together. It is what it is, bro. All right, if I make this shot, uh, I'll stay in LA. If I miss, uh, I'll go to, I'm going to New York, so here we go. Oh, oh! So it looked like it was going in. Listen, man. All right, cool. Well, enjoy. Bye. <laughs> Is gambling legal in New York, buddy? I don't think so. I don't think so. <clears throat> Check out Canada, maybe. Hmm. So sad. So tragic. No one could have seen this coming. And what, Aiden's moving to New York? I find that odd. Didn't he say he would move to New York if he made <laughs> the shot? No, he said he would... Did I get it the wrong way? Yeah, you got it the wrong way. And Zach, of course, predicted. Zach is our oracle here in the office. You made a prediction. <laughs> yeah, I think I might have shit my pants mid <laughs> I'm not kidding, dude. I wish you would have oh, done yeah. it. Yeah. Um, Zach <laughs> always saying Mike shit his gym shorts, and shit. sure enough, the day came. Shit his pants, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen. Well, hold on. Was he, he wearing gym shorts? Is he wearing gym shorts? That's the question. <clears throat> Otherwise, it's an incomplete. Uh, they might actually be, dude. Gym shorts. Oh, right my there. God. They might actually be like gym shorts, oh. to be honest. Shit, his fucking gym shorts. My God. I knew it. I, I knew it. He's a fucking prophet. I knew it. You just got to give it time. <clears throat> it comes to fruition. Carlos NFT, so tragic, you guys. We love Carlos, but uh, this is just fucking tragic, man. After everything they've been through... The redemption arc is just over. The redemption arc is over. Carlos Matos. Hey everyone, the Bit Redemption NFT collection auction has been canceled and all NFTs for this auction will be burned. Damn. Mm -mm, no, no, no. There was a problem with the smart contract and also I am no longer going to be working with the company which yeah, was helping was problem, to launch right. my NFTs. There was a problem, all right. There's definitely going to be a Carlos Matos 2017 BitConnect annual ceremony speech. NFT's collection coming up. What the fuck? What is that title? Whoa! Let me read that again. <laughs> Carlos Matos 2017 BitConnect annual ceremony speech NFT's collection. Coming up. It just rolls off the tongue. And the future. Fantastic. Stay tuned for future announcements. Is this going to be at his, uh, his orgy fest or is that a separate thing? Well, that might be where he's going to find the biggest audience for this. <laughs> so he might just give it to his, all of his concubines <laughs> at, his, at his harem. His mind, what do they call it? His mind, uh, he had a name for it when it's like 20 women and him. Mega mind. Mm -hmm. His mega mind. <clears throat> Thank you, Ian. So NFTs are like party favors there? I think the decision to drop them is your best in your best interest. If you'd like to chat, learn more about the NFT market, how blockchains work, and the dynamic of Oh, we got a new guy moving in. Yep. Velcrafting is moving in. <laughs> Vultures, dude. Let's see if he... Oh, he, he took the bait! He took the bait, Carlos! That sounds like a great idea. I'll DM you soon. <laughs> this guy, hey there, legend, DM me. I have a proposal. All these guys are just trying to get on our show, for sure. Hey, and they will. Hey. Or... Scam him. Well, I don't think Carlos has anything left to take. That man's lost everything. <laughs> I guess no, he's just having a big joke out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, I was kind of trying to tell you what was up. Yeah, he should he should be thanking yeah, you I mean, for exposing it, I, all of that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love that. What does this mean, by the way, when he says there was a problem with the smart contract? Does anyone yeah, know what that means? Sense. It's, no. this, it wasn't that smart. The problem with with his he, NFT was that it existed at all. The problem that's a cover for something. The else, problem I'm with sure. the smart contract is that we didn't own anything. <laughs> yeah. I love Carlos though. Well, what a story! What a saga! The redemption arc. What do you think? Was he redeemed? Do we ever? Did we ever share that guy's uh, tweets? Mm. Who's? Oh my god. We did not. The guy that we interviewed with Carlos? Oh shit, no. you really want to go there? Kind of. 
I mean, it's it's over now. I am so excited. <clears throat> All right, bring it in. Yeah, so we we're doing some research on these guys who did the who did the uh, launch the uh, redemption NFTs with Carlos, and we found some really wild tweets from the main guy who was pitching this, the, head, the CEO, I think he labeled himself that, as. Yeah. By the way, is bitredemption.com still up? Oh, good question. Yeah, it's still online. Are they still? <laughs> I gotta find the logo. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> this, can I buy this? <laughs> this is the one they never launched that they should have. That's the one they actually own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the guy, we dug up some tweets. How'd you guys find this? I don't. I did it. How'd you do it? I love? just looked around. <laughs> well, I, I just thought it was a shady guy. I looked at his like NFT profile, <laughs> right? And I found a bunch of weird stuff on there. And then I just, oh, fuck it, I looked through his tweets, and I, I just found some weird shit. Did you have but, to do like a search function out of his whole history? Because it was an old tweet. I found it. Uh, no, I just scrolled through. Scroll through. <laughs> you guys are going to love this. Apologies, my dude. I didn't want to do this. Uh, if they're making me do this. I guess this is probably some kind of porn star. She said, if you don't eat pussy, you're a little boy. If you don't care if the girl comes, you're a little boy. Where the fuck the men at? So that's what she tweeted. Oh. And then Maximilian yeah. responded. Okay. I make a girl come like 20 times before I do once. Otherwise, I won't make her come as good, lol. Plus, then she wants me so bad. Ideally, badder than any bitch she's ever been with, period. Crying, laughing emoji. Oh, my goodness. Man. I think he's a virgin, uh, I think. Well. That's what I would guess from this. Hmm. Maybe he just fucks like nobody before. Maybe he does. I mean... You know, go off, King. Like, you got to please your woman. I, I, I respect that. Do not come. I just like that. I can make a girl come <laughs> 20 times before I even do it once. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Awesome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, it's not that bad. He's just, you know, thirst trapping for some... Is there something else, love, that was more incriminating than this? No, this was, on the the, on this was the yeah, one that cracked Twitter. This was the one that cracked us all up. Unless, I mean, yeah, nothing else. Here, let's change the title, by the way. I know you hate doing this live. I'll, I'll write it to you. Mr. Beast Cancelled. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's fucking juicy, boy. I'm already taking my pants Grace off. Grace for the dislikes, my dudes. They disabled those, so we're fine. Oh, is it gone? Yeah. Wait, I still for see it. I, I see it. No, it's gone for me. I see it. Oh. Oh, it's sweet. Oh. They, don't, oh. they don't trust those Swedes. Guys, please like the video. Apparently that affects search and discovery, so please like and never dislike. Thank you. No matter how late I am. Smash that like button. Oh, here's what Love sees in Sweden. Yeah, I still see the dislike button. They made all this hubbub and it's still there. That's interesting, huh? Must be rolling it out yeah. by region or something. Just get rid of the button at that point. I don't know. You know? The more I've thought about it, the more I, I do think that this is a pretty stupid decision. Really? Yeah. Well, the, the only possible point where it can fuck up the content quality is like tutorials and stuff. Other than that, I, I don't understand that it being a big deal. I feel like, you know, uh, when big uh, companies do like a trailer for a movie or a TV show and it gets like a lot of backlash and it gets downvoted. Those are, that's, I think, I suspect the main motivation for removing it. Those are, that is great, honestly. It's a shame. To and I think, that. I agree that it's great. Yeah. That is a shame. It's going to change the world. The no dislike button. The world is not anymore the way it used to be. Mm, no, no, no. This is, this is a brave new world we're living in. So, um, now that Mr. Beat's canceled, 
We're moving on. Let's take a call. Let's check in with the food producers. Let's actually do the ads, and then let's take some calls oh, okay. right after. <clears throat> let's thank our sponsor, Quip. <coughs> we love Quip. It's a beautiful, vibrating toothbrush. <coughs> 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 Sorry, Maximilian was uh, making me come 20 times. <laughs> um, I don't know what that means. Oh, I Thank you to Quip. Quip is a beautiful electric toothbrush. I love it so much. It's a slick, modern-looking tube. Okay, it doesn't have a cha charging station or battery. It vibrates when you push the button. And the cool thing is that it pulsates every 30 seconds to make sure that you're getting the right amount of brushing. And the pulsating tells you to move on to the next quadrant. Get that perfect two minute dentist recommended brush. You know, I love Quip, it's got soft bristles. They don't fuck up my gums, I'll be honest. Those are hard for me to find. Um, it's lightweight. It's got a reusable handle. They can just send you new bristles, you know? And with the Quip new Smart Motor app, you can track and improve your brushing with the free Quip app. And you're also going to earn rewards like free refills, products, target cards, and more. It's like if your parents uh, loved you and rewarded you for being good brushing. That's what Quip does for you now. I don't know. Quip is your mother now? Yeah, Quip is watching. Always. Beyond the brush, Quip has everything you need to complete a routine. They've got anti-cavity toothpaste. They've got a special floss that expands to clean. The floss, uh, they've got a floss pick that replaces over 180 disposable picks with every refill. They got gum. Sugar-free, long-lasting gum is one of the best things you can actually do for your teeth. Chewing after every meal makes a big difference in your oral hygiene. So, if you go to Quip, getquip.com slash h3tv right now, you'll get your first refill for free. That's your first refill for free at getquip.com slash h3. Spell G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash h3tv. Quip, the good habits company. Thank you. Quip, 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 quip. Next up, me undies. What the freak? It's time to grow up and get some real underwear, damn it. The days of lugging around dissolved underwear from middle school is over, okay? Get me undies. You know what I'm impressed to date? Have some real underwear on. You know? And not only that, me undies is soft, it's breathable, it's beautiful, it's the softest, most luscious underwear I've ever worn. It really is incredible. The holidays are upon us. It's time to really lean in. We're talking hugs, that is. This year, MeUndies wants to help you bring comfort home for the holidays. So, yeah, I mean, I'm a big fat guy. Let's be honest. I have a massive waist. And those MeUndies waistlines just make all the difference. And my thighs are massive. It's just soft. It feels so much better. Uh, with the new classic plaid and holiday sweater, Prince MeUndies is turning up the comfort this holiday season. Their undies, loungewear, and sleepwear are made out of soft, breathable, stretchy fabrics that are ideal for getting cozy by the fire and a cup of hot cocoa. Make the whole family smile with matching PJ sets or spoil your partner with plush robes and slippers. Whatever you decide, everyone will be rolling into the new year comfier than before. Sizes range from extra small to 4XL. MeUndies has a little something for everyone on your list. Looking for more inspiration? Check out their holiday gift guide for all things cozy and comfortable. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first time purchase, you get 15% off and free shipping right to your door. Your days of fighting for your life in the mall parking lot are over. To get 15% off your first order, free shipping, and 100% satisfaction guaranteed, go to MeUndies.com slash H3TV. That's MeUndies.com slash H3TV. Thank you. And finally, we have HelloFresh. <clears throat> My face is on fire. That doesn't look good. <clears throat> I can't lie. Looks very painful. Pretty exciting for the show, though. <laughs> That's one way of looking like at it. Looks like a beet, like a or a radish. Uh huh. Anyway, HelloFresh. 
<laughs> Eat hella fresh and you won't look like me. <laughs> hello fresh uh, they uh, deliver fresh proportion ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep oh oh ab's burrito luscious look at this burrito could be yours what's inside nobody knows oh now now we're talking <laughs> uh, now we're talking <laughs> Skip the store, grocery store, and HelloFresh makes home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Let me tell you about HelloFresh. They send you a big old box with dry ice, perfectly refrigerated, ingredients, pre-portioned, an instructions kit. Arm you with everything you need to make a beautiful home-cooked meal for you and your loved ones. It's delicious every time. It makes cooking easy and fun. If you're not a great chef, it's a great way to learn. If you are a great chef, this is a very convenient way to just bust out meals without having to fuss with the grocery store and buying like 10 pounds of carrots just to use one. You know, I love it. As a fall transitions to winter, there's nothing better than cozying up with comfort home cooked meals. Recipes like chicken ramen and shoyu style broth and turkey ragu gnocchi make it a no-brainer to skip on paying for takeout. HelloFresh isn't just for meals. Their marketplace features a variety of add-ons for breakfast, dessert, and seasonal snacks, like Pillsbury pumpkin cookie dough. Yeah, the Fupa Trooper's been doing it. Everyone's been having a great experience with HelloFresh, right? All, get, all love. I love it. It's fun. I mean, Lena have it every night. Every night? Every night, yeah. Saved our marriage. Saved your marriage? <laughs> well, we spent a lot more time together, you know, prepping it and eating it instead of just going out. And it's helpful when you're trying to count your calories as well, because you know HelloFresh provides everything. Yeah, fantastic, guys. Go to hellofresh.com/h3tv and use code h3tv14. Wait, I think I said that wrong. Guys, forget I said that. Guys, go to hellofresh.com/h3tv14 and use code h3tv14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. HelloFresh.com slash H3TV14. Use code H3TV14. Thank you to HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. And we're done. Hey, hey, come on now. Having fun. Having good vibes. Eating HelloFresh all the time. Don't should look put like this, me. Should put this music on the Teddy Fresh of it. Yeah, this is this more is good times. Yeah, this is good times. Hey, come on. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, awesome time. Uh, let's let's look through the calls. There's actually a shitload queued up. Oh, someone wants to talk to me about my rash. Okay, here's a nurse practitioner. Oh, Ta that's a, that's Tammy, a good call, actually. <laughs> Tammy, what's wrong with me? Hello. I think you had an allergic reaction to the soap. I think you're exactly right. Is it odd to you, though, that, like, I've used it before and I was fine? I mean, it could be old. You could have come in contact with something else. But I think what you need to do now is keep taking the Benadryl and then okay. also start taking Pepsid. If you take Pepsid over the counter, it actually works against allergies too. Pepsid? Okay. Yeah, like okay. for acid reflux. But it, oh. it also works for allergies. I think it will really help you. And then the other thing I would hmm. do is get the dial, the orange dial hand soap. Um, and wash your face with it. Don't get it in your eyes, but you don't want those sites to get infected if you keep scratching them. Right, yeah. I'm so trying. I think if you add in Pepsid, I think if you add in Pepsi and wash with the orange dial, you'll be better in a few days. That's awesome. Did you did anyone write down those medicines? I know I got it. Yeah. Thank you so much. And by the way, so definitely the yeah. I do not I don't need to see a doctor, right? Let's just make that clear to everyone who's yelling at me. Nope. When did it when did it officially start? I think it started officially on, like, Friday. Okay, so if it's not better than Friday, then I would, if you start taking that stuff, like, today okay. or tomorrow. But th actually, that's really useful. I didn't know if I should keep taking the Benadryl or not, so that's great. Thank you so no, much. No, I definitely would. I definitely would. Tammy, you're the greatest that ever did it. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Bring, I'm bring good. in the Benadryl, I mean, Lena. Bring in the Benadryl. <laughs> bring in oh, the you Benadryl. don't have it yet. Okay. Bring it oh. in. 
and you really can't overdose on Benadryl. So. Yeah! Oh, fucking slam that whole bottle then. Well, everyone was it. saying I was going to well, die of it on Friday. But no more steroid creams on your face. No more steroid creams on your face, please. Really? <laughs> okay. Why? I thought that was yeah, good. Yeah, you're really not to put steroids on your face unless it's a prescription. Oh, shit. Mm. I was... I was loading that shit on my face, like literally caking watching. my face with it on the weekend. <laughs> I was screaming at you on my uh, computer screen. <laughs> so why shouldn't I do that? Well, steroids, like your facial skin's a little bit too sensitive for steroids, and long-term use can cause some damage unless it's in shit. like a prescribed steroid from like a doctor. Shit. Yeah, I was, I, 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 I was literally iced out. All right. Well, this is really good advice. Thank you so much, Tammy. You're saving, you're saving you're the day here. I hope you feel better. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, eh? Come on. <laughs> Take care. Now, that's a call, isn't it? Now, that's a call, people. When, when there's a call, there's a call. You know? I can't overdose on Benadryl? Is that a challenge to me? I'm pretty sure you can. <laughs> The nurse practitioner says I can't. Well, the person saying they're a nurse practitioner on the telephone. <laughs> It'd be awesome. Just pretend like you know shit and just lie to me. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. She sounded like she knew what she was talking about. Yeah, I, I guess. You can get her credentials, the girls on the phone. Can you overdose I mean, on Benadryl? You probably have to take like yeah, a to, stupid amount. Yeah, right. What are, you, what are you reading there, Dan? Overdose warning. Although online challenges may encourage it. Whoa, is this, <laughs> is this written just for us? Online challenges. Let's go. It is Benadryl not safe to take more than the recommended doses of Benadryl. Doing so can lead to overdoses, severe symptoms, including abnormal heart rhythms, hallucinations, seizures, and even death in rare cases. Yeah, but cases. how much are they talking about? Because, like, the dose is 25 milliliters. What are they talking about? Whatever. I'm not, I have no idea. It's not, my, it's not my plans for the week. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, that was good. Matt from Orlando. I've gotten wanted to share his experience on the Judge Matthew show. Mathis. What's the story with Judge Mathis? I have no idea. I don't even know what that is. Do you, do I think you? it's just like a Judge Judy spinoff thing. Judge Matt, Matthew. you got a story for us? A money making hack? Yes. Uh yeah, I, I scammed the Judge Mathis show. Okay, hold on. Get, <laughs> uh, we got like $3,500. Okay, wait. Let me pull up Judge Mathis. I'm going to show a picture. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's a court show like Judge Judy. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's this guy like? Is he a real judge or just some dude? Uh, technically, wait, what is that fucking picture in the middle? <laughs> what is he blazing on? his gavel, dude? Let's go. <laughs> Dude, Judge Mathis is <laughs> ripping a crack load. Is that Photoshop or does he does he chief on uh, on the Yo, show? Yo, did Judge Matthew rip one out of his gavel when you were there? Dude, no, nah, he's he's real straight laced. I think he like has a history in in law enforcement somehow. Yo, uh, this is the best no, he's photo. Not a judge. He's an arbitrator. <laughs> this is my new like avatar in all video games. <laughs> So why did you guys target Judge Mathis? Yeah, my my roommate at the time, he was he was kind of a, a screw up. Uh, he ended up going off to rehab, and I paid his rent while he was gone. Um, and when he came back, he had no way to pay me. Um, and these shows, the the show pays the judgment. So I was like, well, I know how you can pay me back. We're going to make up a lawsuit. I'm going to fake sue you, and then we're going to go on this show. So they uh, they flew us out to Chicago. Huh. Um, the the show it's we, I know you were talking about reality TV a couple shows ago, but uh, yeah, it's 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 pretty scripted. They don't they don't give you a script, but they the producers come and uh, into your green room and fake news. Like why are you lying to us? Yeah, they really we're talking we're about judge shows. I was I was canceled bachelor. for this, my friend. I no, was no, canceled. No, 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 we're talking about <laughs> judge shows. Not Bachelor, yeah. Dan. Mm, okay. Real people, real lives. <laughs> real engagements. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Go ahead well, before you really rudely like interrupt it. Uh, like, I made up this story about how you know he owed me a lot of money for breaking a laptop of mine. And they, you know, the producer just ate it up, and they flew us out. I ended up winning the show. 
uh, winning the uh, judgment. So the show paid us uh, $250 to appear, and then I got 3000 That's fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> That's great. That is amazing. <laughs> did you guys have, did you like put on a show? You know what I mean? Did you guys like yell at each other in the courtroom and everything? Yeah, so that that's kind of what the producers like scripted out with us. They were like, "Oh, you need to you need to get real mad at him at some point. <laughs> you know, don't argue the whole time, but you you need to be like, "Oh, he just smokes weed all day. He's the blunt man. Call him the blunt man." <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that funny. <laughs> By the way, is this episode on like YouTube or something? Can I watch it? No, he doesn't stream anywhere. Uh, I've been trying to find it, um, but <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't stream the show anywhere. They probably don't give a shit if you're faking it, right? I mean, they don't care. Yeah, I think she had an idea, the producer did, because at one point she was like, no, if y'all go out to eat somewhere, you know, don't submit receipts for that. Like, I, I can't I can't reimburse you for food that you eat together. You're supposed to be fighting. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I, I, you're probably not the first person to do this to them. Far from it, actually. Yeah. Huh. That's awesome. Though, That's eh? fucking great. Yeah. yeah, you guys, that was a great idea y'all had there. Good job, man. Yeah, but yeah, if y'all ever strap for cash, you can get up to 5000 on those shows. Well, why'd you, why, well, damn, you should have got for, gone for the full five. Why'd you guys only get three? So the producer said, like, before she flew us out there, she called and was like, yeah, I can't do the full 5000 It's going to be hard to get that approved. I could probably go for three. <laughs> Cheap asses. <laughs> <laughs> what a joke. That's awesome, man. You guys are great. That's smart. Love it. That Gary um, V yeah, would be Gary V approves. Yeah, it's a sigma. Always a sigma hustle. For Always sure. hustle, bro. <laughs> Gotta chase that bag. Got, I needed money for Teddy Fresh. That's what it was. My oh, man. There you go. Thank my regards to Judge Mathis. <laughs> Thanks, bro. All right, thank you, guys. Thanks for Thanks the story. Bye. God bless. That's kind of genius. I would never think to do that. Judge. Mathis calls, calls Wendy, Wendy a, crackhead? a crackhead. Let's go. I just saw that somebody in the chat said that uh, Judge Mathis used to drag. They the have shit beef with of, Wendy. I, I guess. I'm sorry, but Judge Math. First of all, you know I talk shit on Wendy, but who the fuck are you, Judge Mathis, to step to the queen? <laughs> Die. Let me watch There's that video. On. Pull it up. Well, I mean, it's fucking. like 15 minutes long, and I haven't. Yeah, well, we, we got fucking time. We got all day. The the Die. the tr what's that allergy medicine called? Benadryl. The Benadryl's not even here yet. True. And announced that the reason for her two month hiatus was because she was actually addicted to something. Yeah, see, this is like a, a history is, of the beef video. She said she spent time in find, a sober house. Give me a minute. Oh, I want to. I want to. I want to try to find oh, the actual okay. uh, clip of him calling her that. Got it. I don't need a recap. I don't want exactly. Wait, there, there's a lot of these videos. Apparently, it's been a long rivalry. 2003. Judge Mathis destroys Wendy Williams. 2003. I, I want the whole breakdown. This is like two decades of beefing. I want the whole breakdown. Holy shit! While we're looking, here's a short clip of him imitating a crackhead that maybe we could throw up while we look. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, is that where the that thumbnails from? Maybe. Uh, <coughs> that's what I was looking for, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> Can you tell me about this guy's background? Like, who is this guy? So he studied law at the Detroit College of Law, and then I guess he Dope. went to Chicago to shoot a show. Uh, I'm still looking at his credentials. Straight, straight okay, so he, he, he did go to law school. Yeah, he did go to law school. Yeah, he went straight from law school to being a TV judge. That seems like he skipped no, a few steps. He had to have practiced. As no, I'm sure he practiced. Let me see. Actually, I heard there's a there there's a new discipline of law, a uh, TV judge that you can study now. Really? So you get fast tracked right to the television. No, I made that up. Why would you, why would you just lie like that? I thought it was funny. I thought it was a uh, gave. What? A gag, uh, if you would. Fuck. Um. You guys want to talk about Mr. Beast getting canceled? Well, since we titled the episode. I guess we should probably I think it's pretty interesting. <clears throat> There's like very um I would say people on the far left are having some bitter reactions to Mr. Beast recreating the entire Squid Game set. And I gotta say, I've been following this. It's fucking insane what he's done. Have you guys seen this shit? He literally just recreated it like uh pound for pound. Right, but my understanding was 
it's more than that because the show itself didn't actually make these sets. It was mostly CG. And then he he actually That's built funny. It. They're like, "No, we didn't build it. That's that'd be insane. That'd be such a waste of money." Yes, correct. <clears throat> right. <laughs> and then Mr. Beast is like, "Say no more." <clears throat> well, here is a little time lapse. I think they're building the red light green light room. Yeah. <clears throat> right, this one specifically. This this was all green screen in the show. <clears throat> right, that's true. I remember seeing the BTS. Right. This room was all green. Um he said apparently he spent two million dollars on this, but it, I have a hard time believing it wasn't more. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think my throat is closing. Just kidding. Sorry. <clears throat> it's just the acid reflux. Good game. Yeah, so this is insane. Like, what the fuck? He actually. That's crazy, dude. I mean, what is the point of making. The like prison style bunk beds. Is he gonna make I think people be a, sleep there? I think, yeah, I, for sure he's gonna make people sleep there. Hmm. Okay, I'm starting to maybe lean towards the <laughs> critics. Well, we'll see what they say and then weigh our own. Okay. Yeah. Opinions. Because that is a little. Psycho. But I'll, I, I guess I'll, I'll disclose at the top here that I am friends with Jimmy. I like Jimmy. I think he's a great guy. So I'm just gonna get that out of the way here. Sure. Um. This, this, yeah, I mean, this is like, oh my god, they're actually going to kill each other with knives. Right, right. I just, that wasn't part of the game. That's the, <laughs> that, It was part of the game. Well, I guess, so, yeah, okay. Fair Come enough. on. But, unless people kill each other, I just don't know how this can be that interesting. Um, he recreated this whole place where they played marbles. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know. Pretty amazing. I mean, obviously, just from like the scale of it, it's impressive to pull that all together and everything. He said, I now have every game from Squid Game built in real life. And I saw him tweeting some comments about how, where it cost him $2 million or something. Mm -hmm. Or he was saying it cost him more than he thought it would. I'm trying to find that. I remember him saying that, too. Um... Oh, it is in the document? Thank you. He says it's he spent $2 million building the sets and will have a $1.5 million in prizes. Damn. That's $3.5 million budget for one fucking YouTube video? That's what he does. That's like major studio budget. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's like... I mean, how much... Game of Thrones was the most to ever cost a show. It was like $10 million per. But per the, episode, fir the yeah. first season was less. It was like $5 million per, which he's approaching. Oh, yeah. No, this is on the scale of a, like a network television show episode. That is bonanzas. <clears throat> Squid Game budget. Let's see what the actual show costs. Here's all these people bitching. $21 million. There you go. And how many episodes <laughs> was there? Uh, Ten. So, yeah, I mean, he's... It sounds like he's spending more... Yeah, he's spending more on this than an episode of the actual show. Of Game of Thrones? No, oh, Squid Game. Oh, 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 oh right. <laughs> yeah, Squid Games was super low budget. I thought you were talking about... Wait, how many episodes were in I Squid just, Games? You said 10, right? I, 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 I thought you were talking about Game of Thrones. Game oh, of Thrones uh, is 15 for the last season. The last season had a way higher budget. Yeah. That's a diff so Squid Games had nine episodes. Nine episodes. Okay, so 21.4 million divided by nine. Yeah, it's two point three million per episode, roughly. So, so Jimmy has found a way to spend more money per episode, right? Than actual Squid Games. Although it's not a totally fair comparison because he built every set for one video. Yeah, yeah. But still, that's pretty incredible. Oh, someone said he used to live with Mr. Beast and has insight on the production process. Um, okay. Mandalorian season one was a twelve point five million per episode. Yeah, I mean, it's probably going to be multiple episodes on Mr. Beast. Oh, that's true. Mr. Beast video too. Yeah, oh, yeah. I Actually, hope he gets right. the mileage out of this. Okay, you're right. It'll probably end up being a few episodes because yeah, he's tree. he's got to get his money's worth on this one. Okay, so let's look at all the the people who are angry at about the extravagant spending. Um, let's have a look. 
And I'm not I'm not blowing this out of proportion. There's a lot of people that are very mad about this. Um This is just comments. How is how is this? Here's one of his tweets with some replies about it. I mean, the replies seem seem mostly supportive here. No? So it sounds like you are blowing it out of proportion. No, I, oh, it does, I guess, now. But, <laughs> no, there was a lot of people pissed. <laughs> Who was pissed about this? Like, I mean, it's definitely a the, little, like... I'll tell you why people are pissed in the absence of evidence here. Is there, because Squid Games is a show about ultra-rich people, you know, using poor people as their entertainment they're guin- right. they're guinea pigs mm-hmm. and then there's like a weird there's a weird parallel though to mr beast super rich making people you know dance for fucking huge riches <laughs> for money right it's like he he's i guess the criticism is that he's um he missed the point of the of the he really missed the mark yeah, on that one point. david that, dobrik style uh yeah a little bit although i mean he's not <laughs> He's not killing them, is he? Well, I don't is know. He? I mean, you know, <laughs> he's got to step it up to the next level. <laughs> he's always trying to raise the bar, <laughs> raise the raise the bar a little bit. Yeah, no, I mean, there was lots of people complaining about the cost and just about missing the point. I saw some TikToks about it too, and you know, I guess I get it, but it's more of a criticism of our society than Mr. Beast, who's just trying to make entertaining videos. Right. I was gonna say the same. Is it's just like. I don't know. Doing extravagant productions costs a lot of money. They spent spent twenty million dollars on the show itself. Is that, yeah, is, is that, that extravagant? Ironic? Is that okay. is that is that too much? I think it's a, a specifically about making the people compete for prizes. Yeah, but you know what Jimmy does too, and I'll say because maybe these people don't watch his videos. I do watch his videos. He everyone who appears in his videos gets hooked up, even like the first person out, and everyone in between gets gets paid a lot of money. Right. I was gonna say it seems like a little bit of a rush to judgment if um, you know uh, it hasn't even come out yet we don't know what the parameters are and i mean if it's just one person that's getting bring the it prize, in we got the benadryl and he's going to kill everybody else then yeah that would uh yeah, that would definitely be missing the Thank point you so much all right we got what do we got here cherry flavored we got bennies we got chewables daddy likes chewables non-drowsy <laughs> why do you always need like three types I, I didn't go gross. I just got everything. I, I it's, like a fu- everything. it's a farm park. Throw the dude. kitchen sink. Yeah, where's my... Lena, where's my uh, monoclo... Where's my monoclota toads? My Regeneron. Sorry, I'm just joking. If you watch the show, Lena, you get the reference. Oh, stop, baby. <laughs> she stopped watching once I joined. All right, so I'm going to choose some of these. Um... Here, someone, this is a popular tweet, 8,000 or 9,000 likes almost. Mr. Beast, can you do something else? Maybe make homes for homeless people. That might be a good idea. You know, to, again, to be fair to Jimmy, he does do a lot. He, because I think he knows the optics, and he's always doing his best to actually do good things, too. Like, he's always giving, doing these insane food drives, cleaning up the sea, planting trees. You know, just because he's not doing what your na- narrow definition of helping is uh he he does a lot of charity i don't know what to say yeah and he's just he's a youtuber like i i again i i can sort of see the criticism but it really doesn't need anything more than a mild like eye roll like it's nothing to be that upset about it's it's a fucking youtube video i see the irony i see the yeah exactly it's just like right it's not i wouldn't like i can't get these Kid, save my ass. I can't get it open. Maybe it's working. Even with your manly ass hands? You can't? No, it's like I ripped it too hard and... Oh, you were too too manly, bro. (laughs) I think this is for kids, so I gotta take like... Oh, it's so little. So this is 12.5. It's for kids. Somebody asked if this is an ad for Benadryl now. Yes, actually, it is. You can pick Benadryl up at... Your local pharmacy, CVS, or Walgreens. I taste so bad. Use code it's H3TV. Just a loan. It's just a loan. It's like an Adam Sandler movie. <laughs> Get some Dunkachinos up in here, my dude. Yeah. What's my name? Dunkachino. Dunkachino. It's a whole new game. 
Don't anyway, can you guys find more people shit talking beasts? Because I I find it interesting. I think it would be super funny if Mr. Beast just got homeless people to do this and give the winner a uh, hundred thousand billion dollars and give everyone else ten dollars for participating. People just be mad. People just be mad for no reason. There is irony. Way, Mr. Beast owns like a giant food bank too, I think. Yeah, exactly. He has a whole channel yeah. where he donates all of the money to food banking. I'm scrolling through the quote tweets and I gotta be honest, it's just a lot of people saying like people are stupid for being mad about this. No, I hate this. There's it's like a, the, there's it's a the real anti movement. it's the anti circle jerk is uh, is dominating the quote tweets right now. Like look I'm on afraid. TikTok, I saw some really um well, we kind of missed the mark with this one. Kind of missed the mark with that one. No, I'm telling you, it's out there and it's really interesting. I sent some, um, Deaf Noodles and collected some tweets. Here, go ahead, Dan, while I chug this Benadryl. <laughs> okay. Is this Instagram link? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Let's that's see good. see what Deaf Jared. Noodles has to say about it. Hot take, but I feel like once you've reached this level of wealth, maybe you should be using said wealth to benefit the impoverished and not... Yet, uh, Read the whole thing. Come on, we're we're we're, we're interacting. <laughs> Even through the eye roll. <laughs> <laughs> Impoverished and not uses to recreate a show that is a direct critique of the exact thing being done here. But hey, that's just me. Well, it's your name is well. Thing. You know They're what? They're not gonna fucking sh well, shoot you know people, what, man. Dan, her it's name, not the same thing. Her you name is ISIS. Around. Oh, so no such thing as a coincidence. Die, daughter. Why don't you do something about nuts. ISIS? Next. Let's Google some ISIS videos. Americans are genuinely too <laughs> stupid for, <laughs> for even Korean movies and film with the most obvious allegories of all time. It's not a film or a movie. It's a television show made by an American company. Again, yeah, I, I acknowledge the, the, the irony, but it's still going to, I'm still going to watch that shit. Way it's to miss idea. the point of the entire show. Holy shit. Yeah, see, that's, I mean, that's, that's, I don't have a problem with this sentiment. You know what I mean? It's, it's just like, ironic. Yeah. Does director, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna embarrass myself mm. trying to say his name. Uh, no, Dan, about stop. This say it. Huang Dong Hyuk. That's fine. Uh, know about this already. I hope they sue him. That is That's actually. That is interesting. I wonder if there is li uh, litigation. I don't know. He, I mean, he certainly has the, the money and clout to get clearance, but I don't know if he did. I feel like they wouldn't give it to him because of the. the it's a big promotion for the show, though. That's true. Netflix. Well, Netflix probably has the rights. Right. Exactly. I wonder if it's. Well, I can see Jimmy. Um, yeah, I mean, he, with Netflix. he's at the level that he could easily, you know. Get I guess in touch we'll find out. I, I I think this might be a, a collaboration deal. Oh yeah, that could explain the budget because yeah. Netflix has a really vested interest in keeping this. Show going. Sure. I mean, this is nothing but promo for it. So. Well, right. if Netflix is actually co-signing this, then I think that's just a huge W. Right. Right. They would have to. Otherwise, yeah, he would get sued into the crowd. I mean, they're, he's using the name, like all of the imagery. He's using from it. the name, the imagery. Yeah, that's pretty. But that's pretty. If it's not sponsored by Netflix, <laughs> that's a pretty. Interesting. Might be a lot more than two point five million, or three point five million, whatever it was. Rich people have lost the plot so fucking bad. You know, these are just like fucking, he says 200 Also, likes. like, Jimmy's rich, but let's be honest. Again, there's like rich, like, and then there's like... Jimmy's probably starting to trend into rich, rich. You think so? I mean, he's he always tells very me, successful. He always tells me that he spends almost everything he makes. But I guess I could maybe see that being true. I but don't know. When with I was all, like in, the Mr. Beast burger and stuff, like he's not, you don't think he's making Well, you know, I, I got pitched to do one of those, and the profit margins were so shit. Hmm. That it was the same, um, same, people. same people that he partnered with. But that? he's doing crazy volume. But I'll tell you this yeah. story about Jimmy. We met in Vegas just mm -hmm. by random circumstance. I saw him. It was so weird. He and either were there for oh, a right. weekend, yeah. and he just walked by it. When we were shopping, I called his phone. I was like, are you in Vegas? And he's like, yeah. We played poker together. This motherfucker, his assistant had a backpack full of literal cash. And every time he lost, which was often because he's got a fetish for losing money. <laughs> his assistant came and, and put stacks down and just brought him more chips. 
pretty amazing. I never seen anything like that in That's my life. That's crazy. Apparently, they did a video where there was like a bunch of loose fives and singles, and they had a bunch of bills left over. So they just put it in a backpack and got went to Vegas <laughs> with like a hundred thousand dollars in fucking Jesus. loose bills. It's a little, a little extravagant. His net worth is fifteen to twenty-five million, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's not that's not quite rich, rich. I do. That's think, rich. I think he spends a lot of money. And He's the other, very rich. But. The other thing he does is when he gives prizes, he pays their taxes for them, which is kind of crazy. For the people that he gives the money to, like if you if someone wins a Ferrari, a three hundred thousand dollar car, usually what happens? You give them the car, and then the government says, "Thanks, you owe us, you know, a hundred thousand dollars in tax," because they count it as cash. Right. So most people tax. have to sell the car. Uh, to pay the tax. Right. Well, Jimmy, at least last time we spoke to him when he was on the podcast, he said he pays people's tax so they actually get to keep the shit, which means he's paying probably 30% more oh, right. than even what That's it appears. That's cool. I wonder if he's paying registration on it, too, because those will be astronomical as well. That's true. Yeah, registration is really expensive on that Insurance. Cars. Shit. He's not. No, he's he's not. probably on. A, you're probably on your own. Like, if you're time. a pleb, if you're a dude who's making, like, let's be honest, under a hundred thousand dollars a year, you can't fucking afford to have a Ferrari. You got to sell that shit, because the insurance on that is super expensive. The gas is insane. You know, I would just sell that. I'm not finding anything. Official about this thing being a collab with Netflix. How could it not be though? I've been looking too. Yeah, I don't see anything. Well, like literally, how could it not be? He's been pretty mums the word about it so far. Maybe he'll reveal that when the video comes out or whatever. Yeah, I'll be a little worried for him if it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just. <laughs> but the guys, I understand the irony, but you got to take the whole thing uh, as a whole, Jimmy. Does a lot of fucking charity. He does a ton of good shit. Because he knows the optics, right? He's aware of what it looks like. So he's always consciously doing good shit. To make sure that he can continue doing what he's doing morally. Yo! Ferrari insurance is $8,000 for six months. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm telling you. that right. you, can't, you have to be rich to drive. You have to literally not care about money to drive that car. Some went up to 12000 for six months. Because those cars are, first of all, super right. dangerous. People crash in them. It's worth a lot of money. It's basically everything wrong that you want yeah. as an insurance seller. <laughs> right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so, like, if you see anyone who's, you know, you have to be a millionaire. You, even if you're making $100,000 a year. You're looking at sixteen thousand dollars a year in just insurance alone. Right. Oh, uh, fuck that. I, I mean, that's that's astronomical. Five percent. <sighs> Fucking a. I guess. Uh, did we find any other interesting uh, beast? Or are we moving on? Uh, there's more in this album, but I mean, th these tweets have like sixteen likes. No, I don't know. some of them had a lot. Well, I don't know where they are, and neither does Def Noodles apparently. He's got 12 likes. He's got 12 like tweets in his post. I went to three articles and they're showing these screenshots. And one of the articles mentioned death. <laughs> it's just a snake eating its own tail of people being mad on the internet. Right, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, well, shout, out, shout outs to Beast. So you don't think, you don't think he'll be successfully canceled? I you don't wanna, think I, it's not a real. You should you should ask me to change the title? <laughs> no, no, Hell I no, wasn't. Bro. <laughs> well, I no, I would never. I would never. I would never question the clickbait. No, it's not. I don't think even people are trying to cancel him. I think it's just the irony. The irony is ripe. I yeah. and I see it. Yeah. And I and I respect the people getting mad online about it, but also touch grass simultaneously. Um, Tim Pool the quartering. This is good. Oh, I had a I had a Twitter beef with Tim Pool and well, not less Tim Pool because he didn't even respond to me. But Aww. I know he was angry because I ratioed him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, Tim Pool and the quartering. You guys probably know they're just they're your run of the mill 
conservative online shills. Uh, Tim Pool is Tim Civil War Pool is thirsting. He is frothing at the mouth for a new civil war because you need to get vaccinated. That's basically the tipping point for him. Bag of turd, you know, flaming turd bag. He he said, and I quote, guys, if sex work is work, then can a boss require women to suck his dick as a job requirement? This is a. Why did he tweet this? This is a. <laughs> I wish that the likes were here. It's still up. Yeah, pull it up because yeah. it actually. And I remind this is a prominent right wing thinker. This is Tim Pool. Uh, he's a liberal, actually. That's what he always says. I'm a classical liberal. I'm a dis disinfected. Yeah, disinfected. Dis dis <laughs> disinfected liberal is what it says in his uh, in his bio. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get pissed off about that. Yeah. So um, this. At first, when I read this, I had to double check it to make sure it wasn't a parody account. I checked it like three times because I just couldn't believe it. If sex work is work, then can a boss require women to suck his dick as a job requirement? Interesting. Uh oh. Yeah, it's still there. 20,000 likes. <laughs> I like that response underneath. The masculine urge to do anything but go to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, anyway, you got uh, Tim Pool went on this epic uh, rant about how he's single and he doesn't have a family at the, you know, the age of 30, and it's not his fault. It's everyone else's fault. And I, so I said, this is why you're single. And I fucking uh, ratioed him hard. Thank you. Round of applause. Please clap. Good job. Good ratio, my brother. Um, why did he tweet this? I don't know. What? Like, uh, what? <laughs> what? I know. Why? It's, why? It's, it's like... It's, what? what? <clears throat> but also, Spurred you can't this. think that that's actually like a logical conclusion. I mean, it... If sex work is work, then can a boss require women to suck his <clears throat> dick as a job requirement? Genuinely asking. <laughs> well, that's like saying that's like saying if A B is a carpenter, can I require him to, you know, fix my roof? I'd fix your roof. Yeah, you would. Bad analogy. <laughs> and I'm gonna get pissed off about it. <laughs> it's a it. terrible analogy. That's exactly what you would expect a carpenter to do. <laughs> no, but no, but if he's working here. He's here. He's A B to fix your your, your yeah. personal. He's got to fix rip. my shit. Well, you shouldn't pick A B because he's such a simp. He he would. Right. I'm using a hypothetical. Ask me. If, say, Dan, if Dan if was you a, carpenter, a carpenter and you came to be our producer, and but I was like, but also as part of your job description is you have to fucking fix my house all the I can't time. I can jerk off to this. What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Entourage of sounds was just vile, Zach. Play that fart sound again? That wasn't me. That was me. I mean, I, that was me laughing. Wait, what? I, yeah. Do that sound again? I can attempt it. Oh, okay. Hmm. Should sound like that, Zach. <laughs> There's a longer one for you. Surprise me. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. So he's saying, if sex work is real work, then as part a boss can require as part of our official duties, fellatio. Asking for a friend. <laughs> I'm asking. <laughs> well, I have this girl who who I just hired, and <laughs> you might want to, you might, yeah, you might want to keep that offline, Tim. <laughs> Whatever fantasy you're having there. Bro, <laughs> he has a, such a powerful brain. He really does. I understand. I understand why he has the audience that he does with uh, such insights as this. It's incredible. Uh, Hassan said, "No, it's feminism." I said, "Feminism is no when no blowjob." <laughs> the quartering came to defend his daddy Tim, and I didn't quite understand his response. I uh, may people were guessing maybe he. He ate the bait. He ate the onion, as they say, with all the clickbait about me and Ela breaking up. And I stuff. think even that's giving him too much credit. I think he's just a fucking moron and just 
I don't There's know. There's shit all over the floor. Just, just thinks <laughs> you, is... you're an unhappy. You're unhappy in your marriage. That's just funny cause. because, like, I don't. Well, okay. He says thanks. For, I, you know, thanks for the dating advice. I, first of all, it wasn't for you, bro. It was a statement of fact, anyway. You look super happy in your marriage. I don't know. It's like based on what are you making that? You guys seem statement. happy. Yeah, we are happy, you know. We've we're six we have a good life together. We have We've a second got a child son. coming on we, yeah, coming we have, on the way in a couple months. It's really I'm shitting but my like pants. that that would make sense if there was like if you're like the ace family and yeah. there's rumors of infidelity and stuff. That that would be like, ooh, what a jab. Right. But he's just kinda of pulling it out of thin air. Yeah, it's really like the rice gum argument of oh, no wonder why you're so unhappy. Look at you and your girl. Like I'm deep undercover. With no basis. Well, it's ironic for him to say he's the one that got pizza cucked and then had to shit in his own fucking open drain. This is true. Uh, he so, only peed in the drain. Yeah. He only I, peed in the drain. He, he shit at Walmart. Ha, 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 ha. Shit in basement. basement. That yeah, mother, a, the quartering is so vile, he, he waffle stomps shit down his basement drain. <laughs> anyway, I said, at least my pizza has... At least my pizza. At least my wife has never gone for pizza without me. You know, not only have I never been pizza cucked, but I also have never peed in an open drain in my basement in a drunken cuck rage. Oh, he responded. I didn't see it. Oh, dude. Oh, that's so disappointing. Because reading this just reminded me of the fact that like less than a month ago, he was like thirsty posting, like super horny posting about Gina Carano on yeah. Twitter. Yeah, we talked about it. Right. He deleted all of those tweets. Oh, I that's... just went. I wonder how his wife felt about all that. Oh my god, a little came out. He goes, you yeah, showed like, your feet. Right. He goes, you showed your feet. What fan service. <laughs> and then he was like doctoring up pictures of them together, right? Yeah, no wonder his wife goes out of pizza without him. Dude, who could fucking stand your ass, you vile... F you are vile, man. <laughs> you are truly vile. Anyway, here he responded. This is my first time reading this. Imagine being Ethan Klein. Okay. Just imagine. All right, hold on. Imagine it. My face itches. Man alive. The man. My dick who itches. says man alive? I have to shit. <laughs> My dick. Yeah, exactly. You're right in I'm there. I'm not taking a pause. You're right in the zone. Shit all over the floor. <laughs> man alive. This dude just sweats bitterness. You're the. You. You fucking came out. How are you gonna accuse me of bitterness? You're the one that tweeted at me. <laughs> That I'm unhappy in my marriage. <laughs> and his whole, his whole brand is bitterness. All he does is post about how pissed off he is because fucking Marvel, you know, Brie Larson. got too woke Dude, or whatever. you are like, such an incel, bro. <laughs> exactly. You sell bitterness. You bottle it and sell it to <laughs> incels. That's your brand. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about you at all. I'm not bitter. What was the term you used to describe him, Dan? He's a... Um... Uh, oaf. Oh, an oaf. He's, he's an oaf. a massive he fucking am. oaf. There's yeah, never oaf. been a clear definition of an oaf. I think he's more of an ogre <laughs> than an oaf. Um, I feel like oaf is not vile enough for him. He's got to be like an ogre or a troll, like a fat, real troll. Ugly and stupid. <laughs> ogre. Well, let's read the definition of an oaf. Oaf definition. Oh my god, it's just a picture of him. What? Whoa. Stupid, uncultured, or a clumsy person. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's all dumb. Let's let's read uh, ogre. I'm getting a little loopy from the Benadryl. Yeah, yeah I bet. Ogre definition. So a little slow here. Because I wonder if ogre can be used. A hit. So a hideous giant. Right. That's good. Well, he's not. Okay. Wait. He's, he he re tall? They represent a mean, ugly, human-like monster. <laughs> I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> Man, anyway, really here, uh, let me continue button. reading. He says, I really hope you can find happiness one day. It's really rough to watch, as he was one of a lot of creators I looked up to a long time ago. Oh, my God, you're so fucking sad, bro. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Send you a little cons consolation note? You, you are so sad. Man alive. Yeah, he found out I was Jewish, and then he's like, I can't be friends with this guy. <laughs> I'm out. Actually, no. What happened was uh, that basically I uh, started being more open about my politics, and uh, then they realized they don't like me.
cancel culture run amok <clears throat> once again. Thanks, Jeremy. But the, the truth is, if I can shed viewers like the quartering and anyone like him, that's that's good. You know, that's a good thing for me. Be I am, of course, a white supremacist. <laughs> it's it, it, I've talked about this a lot of times, but there was a point in my YouTube career when I was doing all this anti-social justice warrior stuff, and my channel was exploding. It was like the best time for my channel in terms of subs and stuff, and everyone was loving it. But I noticed, you know, a lot of dudes like the Cordering who are, you know, total reactionary conservatives bordering on, you know, anti-feminism, anti uh immigration bordering on white supremacy um i was like i fucking can't fall into this trap of and turn into like the rubin report where i fucking have to like pretend like i'm a conservative to make money <laughs> you know what i mean and so i just said fuck it i'm gonna i'm gonna get rid of all these people and uh it's been a, a painful process for sure but a good one that's led me to being more true being true to myself and my beliefs. So when I see him say something like, it's really rough to watch as he was someone a lot of creators looked up to a long time ago, that, that actually is good. Because it means that people like him no longer look up to me, and I think that's fantastic. Thank you. Now, he, he is a, actually just a, to a horrible, horrible dude. Uh, really vile. Tim Pool as well. Although Tim Pool is a little more put together. I don't think he's taking a shit in his basement and waffle stomped it. But he still has no girlfriend. The quartering's married, so go figure that out. I'd rather be single than get pizza cocked, though. Plus, he's got that crotch rot, so I mean. Yeah. My wife went out with pizza without me. My wife went out for yogurt pizza without me. And then I had a hard time the rest of the weekend. Yo, that's a really good point. You know, it's ironic that she pizza cucked him and went out. Because pizza is one of the only foods you don't even need to go out for. Right. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can eat it at home and have a great experience. But she went, made the extra effort to go out for the pizza to leave his ass at home. And that's what it's called being pizza cucked is. That's so, a great point. Yeah. That's fucking interesting. Dude, I'm shitting myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is awesome. He, these are the best, man. Like, his sound bites are just mwah. Dude, I'm, I'm shitting myself. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. I love these guys. I mean, they're entertaining. Tim, Tim is smart. He doesn't respond to me, you know? Even though he got ratioed, he keeps his head low. Well, he thinks you're ruining everything. Wasn't yeah. that his soundbite? Yeah. yeah, he says. Ethan Klein. Ethan is Klein is, is damaging everything, <laughs> making it all worse. <laughs> that was because we dared to talk to Sam Cedar and ruin the delicate, beautiful discourse. I'm going to call you a bad person. Oh, breaking my heart, Tim. He actually said that about me because we goofed on Crowder. These guys are so fragile. It's crazy. Yeah, good stuff. Fun times. I can hear someone chewing into the mic, by the way. I think that's love. Yeah, that's me. My bad. What you eating? Some chips. Gratul Phil and Luke. Nice little fika. Yes, sir. Great to Phil. Yeah, some fika chips. Fika what? chips. What is uh, What flavor there, is it? It's sour cream and onion, mm. and it's like old, like or I think it's shettle grill shettle or something like that. How about that? With, huh? Uh, yeah, it's really good actually. Yeah. Mm. Can we get a shot of love eating his chips here? If you get it up, boy. Go ahead, into the mic. Mm -hmm. Damn. Okay. Damn. Very good. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah, if Lovebot's on his last wheel here, so if his screen turns off, we've got a plan B. We're going to put Chad Love up. Chad Love. Chad Bot. Oh, you guys want to try the Mischief Chips? Yeah, let's do that. 
Um, we've got the mischief chips. It's right over here, I think. Also, I want to talk about the GTA Definitive Edition. It's awesome. I have to admit, even though it looks like they botched it pretty badly, seeing that, it, it does make me want to go back and play those games. <laughs> I mean, it'd be Even funny. with all the glitchiness and shitty graphics and stuff. So what is this we got here? Another Mischief Classic. These are the guys who did the... Um, this isn't sponsored, by the way. I just think it makes good content, so I like when they send me stuff. They're the ones that sent me the um, the David Dobrik and Trisha oh, cards. Oh, warning, warning. We're about to enter the Chew Zone. Oh. Warning, warning. All right, calm. I'm not going to go crazy. Can I get, like, a klaxon? So they, a klaxon? They made a, illegal <laughs> chips banned in the U.S. Oh, I, shit. I don't you know. You can't eat these. Yeah, I know. It's, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a vigilante like Aiden Ross. You can only eat these chips in Mexico. <laughs> Mexico and some provinces of Canada. Um, food banned in the U.S. It's illegal chips. These guys always come up with something new. Illegalchips.com. So here we have. Here, you guys, you guys should test it out too. This is horse meat flavored. I might pass on that one. It sounds so this gross. This one is um, cashew... Marzu maggot cheese. Disgusting. This one is, uh, I guess I only have two of that one. Uh, Fugu poison blowfish flavored. <laughs> is this the one from The Simpsons where he ate the blowfish yeah. and they yeah, thought yeah. he was gonna die? That's right. Okay. That's a great episode. Dan's vegan. Can he have the horse meat ones? Well, I doubt it actually has horse meat, let's be honest. Oh, well, I was kind of wondering if, It uh... says on the back, made from 0% real Fugu poison blowfish. Made from 0% real horse, made from 0% uh, real cashew marzu maggots, so yes, you can eat them. It just looks like Lay's. Yuck. <laughs> Does it taste gross? It's not bad, it's just... I think it's the the mental expectation makes it gross. Yeah, it's, even knowing Are that it's not... Are you going to try the blowfish? Yeah, I want... I'd rather try the blowfish than the horse one. I'm gonna try the horse one now. You're right, like, I know that it's not horse meat, but this is, like, grossing me it's out disgusting. thinking about eating this. Yeah. Like, like, it tastes fine, I think. It's just... No, 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 no. The horse one? There's something off about that. I don't like that. This is the maggots. I think they're just normal chips, but it just grosses you out, the thought of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really. I don't know if it's just getting in my head, but I think it's but just normal laid chips. Mm. Like seriously, just getting know. in my head. The the blowfish one, they taste pretty good actually. Uh, the blowfish one, that's the one I just tried. And... I didn't like any of them. <sighs> well, I guess it's a funny little gag to do with your friends and fam. You know. I gotta wash this down. This is like grossing me out. Yeah, it's disgusting. I hated it. <laughs> I actually do think it's just Lay's chips, though. I don't know. <laughs> Something weird going on there. Someone said, my respect has gone down. You know it's not real animals, right? <laughs> Bro. Uh, no animals were harmed in the making of these chips. Thank you. Okay, let's move it on. And if any interesting calls, let's go back to the calls. Let's Somebody see. says, please ask Ian about Red Taylor's version in All Too Well. Is, huh? Yeah, is that English? Was that word salad? What was that? <laughs> Did that make sense to you? I mean, I, I, I know what they're talking about, yeah. It might be a little in the weeds. Go ahead. Uh, oh, oh! Is it the ta it's the Taylor Swift thing? It's the thing you were talking about. Right oh, now. got it. Just the way I guess that's the name of the album or something. The way that was worded, <laughs> I was like, "What am I seeing right here?" Yeah, just Taylor Swift fans are mad at Jake Gyllenhaal. They got beef. They got they mad beef. Went in and uh, went in on a new song, talking about him, saying he dates girls too young. 
Oh, you're talking about the Jake Gyllenhaal thing? Yeah. What was that? I, I'm not. I just saw everyone was shitting on him all of a sudden. And I guess Taylor From what Swift I understand, wrote a song about him. They dated like ten years ago. Yeah, she was. He was thirty. She was twenty. Something like that. Yeah. And they dated for a very short period of time, and he dumped her, and she made a whole album about it, or just a song about it, a or song, or maybe a song. Songs. Mm-hmm. How's she still singing about this dude though? Ten well, years because later. Because they there was a re-release of the album. Is is it the whole thing where she's re-recording all of her albums to get a get out from under her contract oh so this guy he fucked she she was like fuck this dude 10 years ago and now she's saying re-releasing the album he's got to deal with all this right and but apparently the song about him it's like an extended like 10 minute version of it oh my god (laughs) (laughs) it's like a (laughs) that's awesome it's an epic it's a a prog rock epic by taylor swift about how much she hates uh jake gyllenhaal 30 year old dating a 20 year old i mean pretty gross i guess well, now oh, it's like no. the Taylor Swift fans are finding out like his current girlfriend he met when she was like 21 or 22 and he was like 37 this time. Well, it's the Leonardo. Actually, Leo doesn't even date that young. He's, he's right at the sweet age of 24. Let's get glam. No, he, he does. He does. He it, does. That's the, the, that's oh, the upper end. That's oh. the cutoff. He dates them until they hit. I don't understand these guys. You look so stupid dating a fucking 20 year old when you're 36. Just fucking find someone older. I mean, what he could you... He and Swift dated... Okay, so he was t- 29, not quite 30, but yeah. 29, she was 20. Here, let me see it and look up his current girlfriend. Don't you agree? They just look, like, kind of pathetic. When It's like, you really want to... Is that... I Not only do I agree, but I... And I say this with peace and love to the younger members of our audience. I, I don't mean this as an insult, but I I cannot imagine <laughs> spending time with a 20 year old look it's not as, that there's a 34 year old man like, there's it's I, not I that just, my heart stopped i thought you were going to say something that you can't listen to taylor swift i was like don't do it dan oh i would never go against the swift <laughs> yeah i, I would say, never go against I like, the Swifties. No. i know better no. it's not that there's plenty of 20 year olds that are cool that i like and are awesome like mature cool great sure but it's just different points in your life. Yeah, exactly. I mean, That's what I mean. At 36, like, you're you... probably looking to make a family. You're buying, you're, you know, there's just more serious life things than a tw- if you remember where you were when you were 20 years old, you're basically just going out, taking drugs, fucking around, not caring about anything because yes. you're only 20 and the consequences of, of living life have, aren't even going to hit you for another like five to 10 years. But Jake Gyllenhaal's 36. This motherfucker needs to have different priorities than what a 20 year old is prioritizing. That's exactly right. Thank you. Wait, do you say he's 36? He's 37. Oh, no, no. He started dating Wait, his he's new 40. girlfriend. He's 40. Yeah. I was going to say, I didn't think he was that close in age to us. I mean, it's still pretty close. He met his girlfriend when he was 37. Right, and she was 22. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. 37 and 22, that's a juicy age gap. So well, now apparently the uh, Taylor Swift fans are <clears throat> going after... Uh, all of her exes, so now they're coming for uh, John Mayer. <laughs> Dude, being an ex of Taylor Swift is one of the most cursed things you can be. <laughs> Evidently. Wait, what did John Mayer... I, I know people hate John Mayer, too, and I don't know why. I think he just kind of has a reputation of being kind of a dick. And How but, dare you? Is it, John Mayer... It, okay, here, I'll do I'm it. not saying he is. I just... I, that's, that's been floating around him for a long time. I don't. I don't really know why. I don't know what the history of that is. <laughs> he comes that, across pretty funny in this thing that Ian just said. Well, though. love, you're 21. You just turned 21. Um, are you insulted by yeah. anything we're saying? <laughs> no, I just think it's funny. <laughs> I I, yeah, I, I, I realized I came across that it, like I'm Thank saying you. fuck young people. I, I'm not. I, I was speaking specifically. No, in, like, you were a, saying fuck young people. A, I was saying young people at rule. Just to be clear. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, um, is John Mayer a douche? I'm going to type that. Is John Mayer a douche? People in the chat saying John was 32 <laughs> and dated Taylor Swift when she was 19. Wow. Oh, here's an article you guys will be happy to know. John Mayer claims he's no longer a douche. 
I'm a recovering ego addict, John Mayer has confessed, that he used to be so self-obsessed that his need for constant attention and approval started to control his life. The 37-year-old candidly referred to himself as a recovering e ego addict. Oh, wow, he sounds like an absolute fucking psycho to say <laughs> that about himself. Yeah, you, that's a bad to date, that guy, especially as an 18-year-old. That guy will fuck you up. What? The chat was saying 19, okay. that she was 19. Here's when an article called... Dating. John Mayer may be the biggest douche of all time. <laughs> Go ahead. Like I said, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know why he has this reputation, but I've just always seen that popping around the internet that he's known as a douche. Someone said uh, a douche is, I'm assuming, in reference to him, painfully self aware man with delusions of coolness who loves, loves, loves talking about his myriad sexual conquests, particularly if they're A-list conquests like Jennifer Aniston, Jessica Simpson. Excuse me, what about Taylor? He's uncharitable. This is Taylor erasure. But generally harmless. Okay, whatever. What do you want from me? I'm not trying to fuck him. Stop fucking him, ladies. We need a, we need a, uh, we need a pussy embargo on John Mayer. Can can I, <laughs> I? I don't want to defend him, but who I'm, John Mayer? You, the, I, I'm I'm a pretty big John Mayer fan. You can like his music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he 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 definitely has douchebag tendencies. I'm I'm not denying that, but the man can play the guitar like, oh, okay, like a motherfucker, man. So I mean, do you think I should lift the pussy embargo? Maybe yeah. Okay, all right, we'll lift it. We'll lift it for Zach. Um. Yeah, it's interesting. Well, shout out to the Swifties. Shout I like. I, can I say I like Taylor Swift? I, every interview I've seen with her, I think she comes off really well. She seems very smart and uh, charismatic. Is that? Is that? Um, I don't know anything about Taylor Swift. Yeah, she <laughs> literally I don't know anything. She about seems her. bright. I like her as a person. Are you Swifty at all, Ian? I used to listen to her a decent amount, not as much these days. Is she? Is she, what's her? What's her deal? She's like, I mean, people like her, right? I mean, I know she, her, she, like her this, fans she's like her. Like this, one of the uh, biggest artists in the world. No, I know her fans like her, but like outside of her fandom, I wonder what's her reputation. I well, mean, the, apparently, this re-release, which is an album that came out ten years ago, is the highest streamed album by a female artist ever. Whoa! In the, in the first day, and it's a re-release. And it's re-release. Yeah. Damn. Wow. Good for you. And John Mayer's crying right now. Or, I mean, Jake Gyllenhaal's crying right Maybe now. Maybe both. <laughs> Dude, if I was like a perfect 10, like big cock, perfect shape, millionaire, and perfect age range for Taylor Swift, and she, we started flirting and getting on, I'd be scared. Because you know all of her exes get blasted the fuck. I would. I don't know if I, you'd have to think twice before you engage that relationship. <laughs> I feel like it, she's it, like Trisha Paytas of the music world. <laughs> she just. She just. Uh, fucking canceled, bro. She blasts to everyone. Just fucked up, big time. Holy shit, dude! I stand by your statement. Ethan. They're coming for you. You know and what I you, mean, Zach. I disavow everything being said right now. Are you worried that I mentioned Trisha or that I said Taylor's? You Trisha? compared her to to Trisha. I wasn't listening again. Yeah, right. I, I heard you whole... coughing. You were giving me a sign. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, no, Ethan. We love, oh, everyone's like, no. You're oh, not making a joke. I love Taylor. We stand a queen, all that. We stand, <laughs> we stand Taylor. We're just we doing stand a little, queen, Taylor. We're doing a little trolling. We do a little trolling. We do a little trolling. We, a little trolling. <laughs> we like to troll. Yeah, you may have weathered the BTS. Guys, party, I love but... Taylor. Stop. Stop it. But the Swifties I'm are reading the now. chat. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. She just. We like to troll. She doesn't expose in her songs. That's all I'm saying. I'm sure she's wonderful. Misogyny. <laughs> People are shouting. Everyone's losing their mind in chat. We stand. We stand. We uh, stand Queen Swifty. We do. Great music. I Like, all seriously. I'm a fan. Did we ever resolve who fuck, who was right or wrong in that Kanye Kim versus Taylor? 
What are you referring? I'm to? asking Ian specifically. What remember, happened? Remember, uh, uh, they, they, Kim and Kanye had some crazy conspiracy to make Taylor look like shit, and they, everyone was calling her a snake and like turned on her for a while, because they. Oh, oh do you, you remember I do that? vaguely I remember. Kanye, this. yeah, he mentioned her in a song, and. Oh mm. right! She was nude in one of the videos. Right, Con I mean, he's got that song "Famous" about her. So, did yeah. we ever figure out who bamboozled who in that situation? Because they Taylor like denied it, and they recorded her. Just to be clear, it was a mannequin of her, you know, not actually. Yeah. Not. Yes. Yeah. Ian, uh, what do you think about the situation about Kanye? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he doesn't want to answer. <laughs> Just silence. I frankly, I don't rem remember if there was additional information on that. They posted the thing where he asked her a question. I don't know. I don't know. People are saying they lied. Kim and Kanye lied. Taylor isn't right. I'm seeing. Let's do a poll just because I don't know. I don't think anyone remembers, but let's see. Let's say who was right, Taylor or Kanye plus Kim? My vote is Tay Tay. I vote Tay Tay all day. Yeah. Tay Tay all day. All day, baby. Tay Tay all day. I'm voting for Tay, my girl. Mm. All right. Tay Tay all day. I, and by the way, I'm voting with no recollection. Oh, 80% Tay Tay? Get fucked, Kim. <laughs> Tay Tay all day, day. There you Kim have it. edited the clip. I'm saying. No way. That's so fucked up. Yeah, because there was like a whole big drama, but. Oh, God, no. I'm afraid I just licked the Benadryl cap. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That's very not good. Well, it's empty. He just licked the bottom of it because it? it fell on the floor. Yeah, probably I fine. know it was you, Fredo. He had a very small amount, but let's see if that's fine. I mean, it just fell, and then he, he it fell right in front of him, and he took a lick. Oh, and it, Benadryl um, is a relatively safe and effective medication for dogs. Okay, okay here. So here, it's not like... It? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oddly enough, the only thing I'm scared about is fucking grapes. Grapes kill dogs. Yeah, grapes dogs. are, like, weirdly crazy poisonous to dogs. Whenever someone brings grapes in the house, I, like, freak out. Like, my brother moved here recently. He was staying with us, and they bought, like, raisins. And I was like, no fucking raisins. I tell... You know, everybody, no fucking raisins in the house. I just get so paranoid about it. It's just so little. Also, I found out onions are toxic to dogs, too. I think onions just give them diarrhea. Like, they shouldn't eat it. But grapes can actually kill them. So much like chocolate. Chocolate actually is way less dangerous than, than perceived. Really? Chocolate's more like onions. will just give them diarrhea. But grapes are just... Grapes, and there's this one artificial sweetener that are will, like, straight up fucking like kill them. They're, like, straight up poison the dogs. It's oh my crazy. God, wow. yeah. Like, one grape can kill a dog. That's insane. I never... If did. they're really... if Like, a small dog. Yeah, my like dogs, little... if they ate one grape, there's a chance they'd die. Oh, my God. It's crazy. Like, straight organ failure. It's so scary. They don't know why it does it either. Wow. It's... Yeah. It sucks, because Theodore loves grapes well, also. we are no longer... We are no longer grape gang. <laughs> Yeah, we hate grapes. Drop grapes. Well, I hate grapes. They give me... I have night terrors about grapes. I may have encouraged the fan base to start spamming grapes instead of tomatoes earlier today. Oh, no. That's <laughs> fucked up. I did not realize. Why would you want to kill my dogs, What'd Dan? I do? thought you liked my dogs. I do. I do. I didn't, I didn't make the connection. I apologize. It was very insensitive of me. Um, by the way, thank you to all of our members. Please consider becoming a member. You get... Theoretically soon. One day early. We, and also you get to be one BTS every week. Compliments of AB. What, sorry. Dan? I didn't realize we were still doing the pitch there. Um, very soon here, um, we will have access to uh, gift memberships. Sort of like if you're familiar on Twitch, you can purchase gift subs and give them out uh, to other fans as just kind of like a nice little gesture. They are introducing it on YouTube, and we uh, recently got approved to um, add the feature to our channel. So, so it's I'm not, not sure. up yet. No, and uh, a lot of the other features that they said uh, they're giving us are, but I don't. See what are that the other yet. features that that we have? Well, we actually have the ability to do like the equivalent of a raid we, now. Oh, interesting. There's a setting in our stream 
to select another channel or another stream. Um, Can you send them to a VOD? I think it's just streams and premieres, but let me... I let send me them look. to my own VOD. Like, no, that would be good. Redirect. Redirect allows you to keep viewers engaged across the monthly. Add a live stream or premiere for oh, people to okay, watch I after see. yours ends. That's so smart. Cloud. But yeah, we can uh, send our uh, fans over to another stream or something. So it's finish. basically gifting subs and rating is, is what it is? Um, also, like the mods now have the ability to create polls. There's like a there's like a few other little nice features. Yeah, oh, so clips similar oh, to Twitch clips. Oh, clip! Are you using that love the clips? Uh, well, it's not implemented yet. But yeah, I don't oh. see that one I'm implemented. I'm looking forward I think for that a lot. Yeah, they're ro they're all they're in the process of rolling it all out. Yes. Yeah, so. Um, but yeah, they're basically just ripping everything off from Twitch and moving it over to YouTube. So they had this Shout big uh, offering for. Streamers trying to court them over from Twitch, and I was like, "Well, what the fuck? We're streaming." I wrote them an email. I said, "What the frick?" And then they gave us all the features. Pretty cool. What they need, dude? Can you imagine if YouTube did the uh, YouTube Prime or whatever, where they give you a free sub? Then it'd be over. Um, true. That's be probably over. coming because they are moving towards doing that now obviously like more people have amazon prime than this but they did say oh, that they should do a youtube premium sub well what sub. they're doing is that it's a tie-in with discord so if huh. you get youtube premium you have discord premium and vice versa they're like integrated huh. now so if you get like oh the advanced... that'd be a game changer if youtube did free subs that'd be that'd be amazing. huge that'd be huge they ha i bet they will because that's such a winning formula for Twitch. I mean, when we were streaming, 75% of our subs were free. Yep. And now it's 100% paid. And so, obviously, if right. people right. had free ones, that would be a that'd literal be game changer for us. Well, that's cool. Anyway, GTA Definitive. This was space... What what number was this? They remade the classic GTA. Um, it was three of them. Oh, so they made all three of them into one. Yeah. Remastered their graphics. Here it is, folks. Feast your eyes. There's a 2021. <laughs> character to come back. This is the first time for me in the uh, GTA universe. Yo, this guy's arms are so cool. That's gangster, this. bro. <laughs> Them spaghetti arms. Yeah, look at this shit. This is high-level 2021 graphics, baby. This one on the right has become a meme very quickly here. I mean, nobody's face looks like that. What were they thinking? Why even bother if this is the graphics? <laughs> what the fuck am I looking at, dude? My god. These are like the graph. I don't even think graphics were ever this bad. You know, if you go back to like the early 2000s. It's like N64. But they're, even Late their 90s. graphics were more polished than this. <laughs> this is doo doo. Fingers in that one. Oh, oh, this is oh, legit. <laughs> 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 what is this a pear man wait go back up a couple i think you missed yeah look at this guy's hands one. Oh, i thought he had a claw that's yeah, his fingers? fingers i thought he was doing like a wolverine weapon <laughs> what the hell it's freddy krueger dlc so are people pissed oh yeah this is hot check this out <laughs> <laughs> look at that that's the body of a gaudy right there my dudes <laughs> what in God's green hellish <laughs> earth is that? It's America, baby. So there you have it. Lots of good memes coming out of that. Oh, I have some reviews even. Review from a fan. First of all, fuck Rockstar. <laughs> the, the, the Definitive Edition trilogy is absolute garbage. 60 bucks for a heap of shit. The audio files are trash because the studio was too fucking numb to properly upscale or even move them. I think he meant dumb. The game can't even run consistent 60 frames on performance mode on a PS5. That's pretty sad. Considering... It came out 20 years ago or yeah. whatever it was. The game came out 20 years ago. I expect to be able to play that shit on a calculator. <laughs> there are multiple places where terrain is missing. The land bridges and the boonies and a few spots too. The vehicles and pedestrians exactly like Cyberpunk disappear or replaced with... Uh, looking away and back at them. Also, several characters have, as you know, horrible issues with their models. And lastly, several areas in each game have noticeable seams. 
plus part of the holes in vice and several areas in San Andreas. And you may be thinking, well, they'll fix it, but they probably won't because the studio that remade it is the same one that did the mobile port. So forget any long-term support. Fuck you, Rockstar. Okay. Love the passion. Love the passion, my friends. My eyes are itchy. It's spreading. People are saying these models look like a son. <laughs> the tiny head. Hey, you guys want to get some food? What's up with that? What's up with that? That's, Did, all, that's up to you. Let's get food. Lena, Lena. Or do yeah. I have a private chat? Here, let me message her real fast. This man needs food. Here, while you deal with that, why don't I uh, read some super chats? <laughs> what do you think about that? Go for, yeah, go food. for it, of course. Um, let's order food. It's just like a few carrots, it's not actually lunch. But, go ahead, Dan. Yep, I'm pulling, pulling up, up. I'm pulling up the yeah. super chat window. Just do like one of those spots. If you want Mexican, I can get tacos or maybe <laughs> grill and I can get the Far East Bowl. <laughs> Here so we you go. You got to send your orders to Sam. All right. Alina, then. Somebody donated $5 and said it's the <laughs> definitive Edusi. <laughs> wow. You can unmute me. Uh, someone give me a membership. I'm broke. Yeah, I don't think we can do that yet, unfortunately. Um, H3 podcast action movie skit called Ethan Klein, Man Alive. Ooh. Man recording, Alive. Quartering inspired. Uh, did you okay. guys already talk about the new video of OJ trying to kiss a girl and getting yeah, swerved that, on TikTok? Yeah, I have TikTok. it in my doc, Yes, man. we have it in Let's the doc. It. It's so coming good. Up. Uh, I have premium. I should be free member. Okay. I agree. I actually agree with you. Yeah. You should be a free member if you're premium. That needs to be the move. Definitely. Here's the juice uh, dude who killed his wife and her friend. Allegedly. Well, he, oh, please, joke. <laughs> well, he was found guilty in a civil court, so it's not alleged. He also wrote a book that was never published called If I Did It. So, Bro, this is yours truly. Fuck you, OJ. Anyway, he's about to get... <laughs> she runs into him at a club. He's like, okay, this is happening. Goes in for the kiss. And she's like, hell no. Look at her face. She's protecting her neck. <laughs> He gets so <laughs> fucking close up to her. Like, well, look how she protect her neck. She knows what he's capable of. Fucking weirdo. She probably reminded him of someone. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, his ex-wife. His ex-wife. Ex she does blonde. have a resemblance, yeah. Look at Here, I got the perfect. Look at that. <laughs> oh. She's like, oh, boy. He's, he's like, oh, it's shit. me, OJ. That frame. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah, he's fucking OJ. He's, he's a out. bit of a creepy dude, isn't he? Yeah, who would have guessed? Wild and out. Yours truly. I don't know if you call decapitating your ex-wife, the mother of your children, and her friend who was visiting, um, creep. I mean, let's not judge. It's perfectly normal behavior. Wait, this, okay, um... Somebody's claiming they're the ones that got OJ on Twitter. That sounds like a fake call. Let's talk to them. What's their name? There's so many lined up. Oh, has a David Dobrik pop-up story? Uh, okay. I mean, that's interesting. No, I don't see it. Gabrielle, uh, number 50. 50. Gabrielle worked on a documentary producer who influenced OJ to join Twitter and also a like cult cult recruiter. Eh, could skip it. Sorry, Gabrielle. I'm trying to find a good one here. Has a story about dressing up as Ethan and other un H of the Universe characters and won a costume contest. That's interesting. Skip. Oh, yeah, we skipped the whole reason that we were even bothering to talk about a GTA remaster. What's the reason? We decided to go ahead and um, take a page from Rockstar and remaster the podcast. Oh. And yeah, I so think you're going to like the results. This is only 60 bucks DLC. You can rewatch all of our old podcasts mm -hmm. remastered. Here's me and Ela looking kind of in our more accurate, right? More... 
It's more lifelike. More it's life-like. more accurate. It's more um, higher pixels. It's more vibrancy. Higher frame rate. Yeah, right. Uh, Zach, here's remastered Zach. Got a gnarly ass widow's peak, dude. Holy <laughs> shit! Like Count Chocula. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those eyes are real far apart too. Yeah. Yeah. Inbred. Here we go, remastered Olivia. Olivia looking, uh, looking very remastered. Extremely remastered. <laughs> Here's Cam. Cam. Looking That's just what he looks really, like. I don't really see the difference in this one. It's nice to finally get a real representation of how you look in right. real life. You know. Yeah, this, this is what we see when we yeah. look at Cam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, that <laughs> is a beast. AV is Bat Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sam and Ian. Sam's Ian is so funny. She looks like. Why they do Sam like that? <laughs> she looks like a different person, man. She looks like a lady who does psychic readings. <laughs> Ian, okay, this Ian's is jaw is uh, very strong in this. More resemblance to Dan with the beard move. Right. And of course, Dan, <laughs> who's looking like a crackhead hobbit. Yeah. <laughs> Dan is rolling. On, yeah, uh, exactly. So yeah, sixty bucks for all of the back catalog. Yeah, you uh, can watch every episode remastered. It's <laughs> Here is a uh, GTA thread. Sounds interesting. <laughs> this is the best. Vi- There's been a lot of videos that came out of this, but this is my favorite. Don't look behind you when first person on the quad bike. It's cursed. <laughs> That's what it <laughs> So when you're riding a bike in the in this, when you're riding a bike a quad bike is that if you look behind you to see what who's driving behind you this is what you see <laughs> That's awesome <laughs> That's so cool I'm assuming you're just supposed to see behind you not the dome Yeah Yeah You have other videos yeah these are great Yeah they're in the dock here I, Oh I they are know. Yeah here. Somebody said all of our remasters look like people from Elder Scrolls games. <laughs> oh. yeah, the, definitely. Uh, the Oblivion NPC character Crash pack. Took all my yeah. paper, man. Left me with number small change. Hey, get yourself a beer or something. Oh my god. Yo, can you guys okay. find like I want to do a before and after because I don't think the graphics are that different. Oh, they yeah. It's pretty significant. And honestly, the um, environments and stuff definitely do look better. It's mostly, and a lot of the main characters, I guess, from what I understand, they used an AI uh, to upscale a lot of the models and everything, mm. and then clearly didn't like actually comb through it and fix a lot of it. So what happened? Um, so that's you... that's how you wound up with like that bikini girl that's just ob- <laughs> looks like a gorilla. It's just like obviously super fucked up. Here's more GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition. This is a comparison video. If you want. Oh, great. Okay, let's see. I mean, this is just a cash grab, right? Especially they didn't even put the work in. Okay. Yeah, that looks better for sure. But yeah. it's not that significant of a difference. I saw a lot of people complaining about the rain, that it's overwhelming. <laughs> yeah, there's this one. Oh, I saw an image where the rain, you couldn't even Ian see. Just, Ian just sent it. Oh, yeah, so I saw people bitching about the rain. This is awesome. Watch this. Imagine you're trying to play a video game. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I mean, it is kind of interesting where the rain actually blinds you because, you know, it, it, it could be like that. You're right. It's real. It's, real. <laughs> it's so You intense. cannot see it there. I mean, he's right. You shouldn't ride your bike in that heavy of rain. That it's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. I just sent a video that shows that the water in the game renders over the rain. Interesting. I'm getting in the weeds here on this GTA story. Vertical birds. Hmm. <sighs> what? <laughs> it looks so fuck? stupid. It looks... <laughs> oh no! It doesn't render. Renders over the water. <laughs> on top of the rain. Oh my goodness, what a nightmare. It reminds me of the cyberpunk game they... Yeah, it's kind on. of that level of... Uh, but the the difference is it's fucking 20-year-old game. Uh, well, if you're going to repackage and sell a 20-year-old game, it better fucking look great. 
Right. I mean, for example, Demon Souls remake, f- unbelievable, so good. Sure, right, and a much more niche thing than GTA. So here is another moment. Shit. I told you he was crazy. Man, you jacked <laughs> up. Man, what's this? <laughs> Don't mind the uh, helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even bat an eye. So realistic, actually. It was <laughs> applauded for its realistic depiction of life in L.A. Oh, God. All right. Let's, this actually one, this one interests me. I've been following this story for a while. It's a friend of the show, so I hate to do it. But I have to because it's just so fucking crazy. Big Nick. Fr- friend of the he, show is maybe. It's, I use, you know, I use it uh, loosely. <laughs> This motherfucker been posting cringe like I have never seen. He's like a born a be- born again Christian, but he has like the craziest takes. He's super, basically Christian. super anti-vax too, by the way. Yeah, of course, of course, because Jesus and Jesus, as you know, doesn't believe in vaccinations. <laughs> and actually, you know what's crazy? He's found an audience. Like this video has you know, half a million likes. <laughs> so people are down. Hashtag Christian. And unlike TikTok. you, his TikTok stay up. So. Well, yeah. All glory with all things are possible with God. <laughs> God blocks us, sister snipes. So it says a video of a woman rapping about her private parts has 425 million views, while a video of a of him. It's him, by the way. Yes. Oh, dude, that's fucking sad. While a dude rapping about God has 6.8 million views. This is proof we are living in dark times. No, it's, it means your music sucks, dude. <laughs> That's, that's the only thing it's proof of. I mean, I hate to say it, bro, but you kind of brought it on yourself. But how the fuck did half a million people co-sign this? I'll tell you what. Those half a million people that liked that TikTok, they didn't go watch the video. How many views does it have? <laughs> it's, still, I, I, it's in the dock. It's right under this. Would you, you could just tell me. You know what? Here, I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it. I'm going to be that guy. 75,000. Okay, so he got he got a few more views. Here, you want to hear the song? Let's see what. I listened to it earlier, and I gotta say, it's very bad. Oh, I think you can see it's a banger. Okay, well, terrible here. music. So it's sad music. He's like, "Yo, nobody likes my music." That's proof that we're in dark times, bro. Dark times. <laughs> You know, dude, Ela wouldn't let me order pizza yesterday night. Dark times, bro. Proof Damn. that we're living in dark times. Damn. At least she didn't go out without you. She would never do that. As long as, as mad as Ela's gotten at me, she would never pizza cuck me. There are boundaries uh, in a trusting, loving marriage that you don't ever cross. Facts. All facts, no printer. So here's the video that he's mad doesn't have 300 million views. Don't you fucking claim me, Nick. Swear to God. Any yeah, I'm the only one promoting your shit. Teaching that points people away from the true and the living God, tells people they don't need Jesus and you can get to heaven. No. Here, let's get some lyrics going. Any other way, it's up to them. By the way, I, maybe I didn't explain enough. Don't get mad at me for making fun of him. But he's like anti-vax, he's anti-gay. Horrible shit, okay? So we'll get to all that. You have all that stuff, maybe? I, I don't know if it's long enough. The big, big oh, Nick hole. Judging by the chat, our audience is well aware. Okay, good. Because I don't want people like, oh, he's making fun of his music. No, he's like, a, he's turned into like a crazy religious bigot zealot. I'm scared to say it, but I'm not afraid. Buddha, Allah, all them frauds, Christ the only way. Progressive Christians need to change because they aren't saved. Need y'all to read Revelation 21 8. They hate on me because I'm pro- What's Revelation 21 8? He I'm, said we need to read it. Let's check it out. Revelations 21. I think it's something eight. about a new the, heaven and a new earth. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the <laughs> idolaters, idolaters, idol, idolaters. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. And all liars, they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur. 
this is the second death. Why did he pick that one? Isn't there like a thousand passages like that in the Bible? Uh, this one seems particularly um, incendiary. Okay, well, there you go. Going to hell. Watch that demon die. And he really does, he does seem to have an issue with the sexually immoral. Yeah, I want, I, I'd like to see his homophobic stuff, if you guys can find that to put in the doc. How do we expect to enter heaven if we never pen it so we can be forgiven? It goes on. Yeah, it's kind of fucking fire, bro. Hmm. This should have 300 million views. Dark times, my friend. <laughs> Dark times. When one of the biggest artists in the world, with the best music producers in the world, and a huge, massive fan base gets more views than me. It's fucked. Dark it's fucking God. Dark times. That's against God. I will say it's kind of a bop, but it's it not, is. it's no chin up high though. I I, I gotta yeah. I gotta stand with that. To 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 twerk in all the time. Oh shit! I don't care about this guy. Yeah, exactly. Let's skip that dude. You're going to heaven, right? You're repentant. Why are you, why are you, why are you worrying? Okay, pretty fire. You're worrying what I do. He's trying to save our soul, Dan. They do it's it out, out of love. My soul is not his fucking business. You ain't never seen Hawk. Look, if you saw like a child who was in distress and you thought like maybe they were being abused, you would try to help. That's what he's doing, except worse, because we're going to die in damnation forever. And that's why you got to step in for you. and Save okay. your soul, Dan. I just got to own <laughs> My facts and logic. Oh, here is another big neck exposing Satan's secret in music. Fuck yeah. Stay away from secular music. A lot of this music. Is secular music? music? You mean anything that's not <laughs> Christian related? You're blowing off the whole genre of everything that's not Christian. There's two types of music in the world Christian and secular. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Music for God and music for Satan frequencies to cause you harm as we know satan was lucifer in heaven as and know. he was in charge of music we have to understand that our spiritual enemy knows way more about music than we do the satanic illuminati bloodline family called the rockefeller family actually carried out a study on 440 hertz frequency this programming frequency in music was shown to cause i wonder where he found this was it facebook probably? This is, yeah probably this is actually this is a big conspiracy theory that it, it doesn't necessarily always have the um religious angle although oftentimes it does about how we tune all of our instruments to the wrong frequency and this what did he say four 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 six four, hertz yeah because yeah. we tuned to 440 a440 uh 440 vibrations per second but that's against god the the real tuning that's right thank you ian the real tuning if you want to be in touch Wait, with the universe love is saying he's not even showing the rothschilds or he's not showing oh, the Rockefellers. Didn't he say Rockefellers? Yeah. Because that looks, yeah, that's a Roth. Ah, he put the wrong Roth family shows. in. He's like, eh, another yeah, Jewish family. So. What's the difference? <laughs> They're all devils. Good oh catch, God. love. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I mean, it just shows how committed he is to deep research. 140 hertz frequency. This programming frequency in music was shown to cause a lot of harm in people, such as greater aggression, psychological agitation, and emotional distress. A lot of big artists in the music industry are actually using this frequency to cause these problems in your life. Damn. Check out a very You know, this, this is like collective psychosis. Like, th this is like a schizophrenic paranoid delusion. If you think that music is playing at a certain frequency to scramble your brain, if you told a therapist that, they would be like, you have paranoid schizophrenia. And yet there's like a mass paranoid schizophrenia because Facebook allows this information to disseminate. And people are, are like, there's la mass psychosis. I mean, this is psychotic. Popular rapper named XXXTentacion talking about the oh, same don't exact... Oh, he fucked it up don't as you bad do as it. you. Wait, don't you, don't you 
are dearly departed, don't you say shit. Artists in the music industry are actually using this frequency to cause these problems in your life. Check out a very popular rapper named XXX Tentacion talking about the same exact thing. Music is frequency program. Music oh, is never mind. frequency. What well, frequency are you being fed? If I play with those frequencies, right, I can target certain parts of the mind. Ecclesiastes 7 5 in the Bible. Take it, take it Literally from XXX, it. renowned researcher. Better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. Stay away from secular music because you don't know the deep spiritual warfare that it may be causing in your life. So he's playing at, a, at God's frequency? Is that, is that what that yes. means? What is God's frequency? Well, would you, would you be surprised to hear that... Uh, they don't all agree on what the what the proper frequency oh, is. Oh no! Yeah. We got to get on the same page at least. Yeah. Uh, some say which frequency? Uh, so four thirty-two. Uh, some say four thirty-five. I know a uh, Dimebag Dale from Pantera. He tuned to four twenty-seven. His guitar. We don't like four twenty-seven. That's devil's frequency. But more radical. Uh, more radical among middle A haters insist that the true frequency should be five twenty-eight. Because it's of its digital bio holographic precipitation crystallization and miraculous manifestation of divining frequency vibration. Okay, wow. So which frequency was that? That's a uh, five twenty eight. Okay, this is important. Five twenty eight. That would change. Uh, I mean, the would you like to hear it? Oh my God! The Holy Spirit. Wait, that doesn't sound like one frequency at all. This is the. The fuck is this? This shit? is just a pad on a set. Yeah. Is... <laughs> well, if you if you were just listening to a frequency, it'd just be like. Bee! Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. I need that sine wave, baby. Mm. Here, I'll play it for you. Bee! Yeah. Oh, that's not five twenty-eight. That's not five twenty-eight. That's that's not five twenty-eight. All right, kill it. Spirit. <laughs> Thank you. Here's scientific proof the Bible is real. Uh, Big Nick continues. Did you ever find any homophobia one? I found a screenshot one. He deleted a bunch oh. of stuff off his TikTok. Oh, there. I found it. Here it is. This is the God tone. It's a nice Everybody. tone. 528 pure, pure sine wave tone. Mm. One hour. Who the f... Beautiful. It's a nice tone. This is what I want to hear <laughs> when I ascend. I feel my brain crystallizing as we I'm speak. I'm healed in the name <laughs> of Jesus! That doesn't sound good. I think that's a called like, yeah. brain cancer. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want your brain crystallizing. Anyway, here we go, Big Nick. Very popular on TikTok, 60,000 likes. I'm going to show you how science proves that stories in the Bible are real. Okay, Nick. Okay. S fuck me. God damn it, Ethan. <laughs> science proves that stories in the Bible are real. There okay. used to be a city called Sodom and Gomorrah. This city was full of sinners who would do the most wicked things. They even worshipped this demonic deity called Baal. God was so fed up with the city that he rained fire and brimstone upon everybody. This city has already been found. However, this group of explorers took it one step further and actually went there. They got there and discovered sulfur balls, which comes from fire and brimstone. I'm going to show you how Yo, it's proven. <laughs> oh, checkmate. Checkmate oh, atheist. Man. Checkmate atheist forever. Okay, so his more inflammatory ones he erased, I guess. But it, it, it is a... It gives you an insight. Guidelines, probably. Is oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Here's, here's a screenshot we found. Ain't no way I'm ever referring to you as they, them, dog. Just act normal. Right? I remember seeing this one. And I was like, yo, like, I get, like, I mean, he said he was bullied in David Dobrik's group, and it fucked him up. So how are you going to come out here and fuck with these mar this other this marginalized group? Why are you going to fucking say that? That's beyond jacked, dude. Yeah. Like, cool, dude. Oh, so you're the cool dude now. You're, you're the bully now, Nick. Cool. Just act normal. Why don't you act normal, bro? Stop with all the fucking four, this is 578 hertz. That shit ain't normal, trust me. <laughs> it's very abnormal. It ain't normal. <laughs> Hell no, it's not. Ah. <sighs> Here's more. There's so many good ones. Keep looking, guys, because I love that shit. Here is, we live in a musical society. Imagine living in a society. I hear that we do live in a society. I know. And, ima <laughs> and we live in it despite knowing that. Shit, crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. So here is the more of the format that works. 
he just listens to sad music and looks at the screen and says, Ariana Grande's song Blaspheming God, Blaspheming God, has millions of streams. Oh no, it's the same shtick. Meanwhile, a Christian rap album only has thousands. This speaks about today's generation. Bro, it's fucking Ariana Grande. My God. You're like an amateur fucking rapper. This is not right. It literally just means that... You is know what it means, Is he just doing Nick. the thing where he's like... Nick, Nick, you know what it means. Let's be honest. You know exactly what it means. Your music sucks, bro. <laughs> that's, not, that's it. It sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> this like sad sap shit. Can we? I wonder if this song's not. Oh, whatever. Let's not even risk it. Kingdom of God. Let's look up this one. I want to see how many. Oh damn! Damn. So fucked up that people don't stream his music, but they listen to Ariana Grande. Damn. Let's listen to Kingdom of God. Kingdom of God. Big Nick. Wait, he changed the name of it to Hope, I think. Because when I typed it, this came up. <laughs> it's awesome. Yo, we are in dark times that this video only has 160,000 likes. Oh. Fuck yeah. Ariana, Gr Ani Ariana Grande crying and shitting right now. Yeah. <laughs> crying and pissing. Oh, and puking on the floor. You give me oh, 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 oh. Throw it up, throw it up, Jesus Christ. Throw it up. Mm. Yeah, Ten Commandments, throw it up. Jesus Christ, kill me. Yeah. Mm. We love you. I guarantee you isn't just a vase. I don't know. Damn, there's no Hasn't subtitles. Hasn't he only been born again for like a year or two? You know yeah, maybe? yeah. I'm not sure. I believe a couple of years. Gotcha. Still theoretically in phase. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be a phase. I don't know how you drop this. He's way in way too deep with God at this point. <laughs> I don't think you can drop it. You'd think he's committed. Mm, perhaps. Up next, Big Nick live at Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Hmm. <laughs> That's the dream. No more flying in d tubes full of demons for you. I'm selfish, I know. I'm trying my best to keep all this under control. Done living in sin, it's time to repent and get myself back on the road. Well, is he thinking of right for us? Jesus, you know that he died for us. Got put on the cross and he cried for us. Holy Spirit here to prosper us. In my head, oh, there's Jesus. warfare. But I know that you're still there. In my head, Fire. there's warfare. Yo, the fact that this has um, 170,000 is pretty good for like Christian, amateur Christian rap. Like, I don't know that amateur? you should be complaining about How dare you? the world being dark because you're not getting more than Ariana. Like, that's pretty good, bro. You should be happy with that. I'm curious to look at more of his stuff. I like his music. It's fucking interesting. Here, let's sort by popular. Betrayed. Oh, fuck, yeah. That sounds gnarly. 170,000 likes. Oh, hell yeah. Stripping acid. popular if God wanted him to be. That's so true. Yeah, I mean, why are you complaining on TikTok? This isn't God... your path, dude. Dude. This isn't the path that God has for you. You think God's powers are limited? Like, how small is your God that he can't make your shit pop off? <laughs> Trust me. God wants Ariana. God wants Ariana, not you. Oh, yeah. He's made the choice. It's obvious. That hoodie was kind of demonic, I'm not going to lie. This whole thing is like a hellscape, bro. He's going to become one of those guys on YouTube that, like, 
looks for Illuminati imagery and popular culture and stuff, but guy. just only about Big Nick. I'm just going to dedicate all my time <laughs> to just doing like two hour long YouTube video analysis. Just convincing himself. Yeah. I think I think if like some big label approached him, you, you know, he's full of shit. He's like, oh, you, you, you're demonic. I'm not going <laughs> to sign with you. They're like, they're like, listen, Big Nick, we love your music. We'll give you a huge contract exclusive if you drop the Christian shit. I just, he'd be like, fuck Jesus. <laughs> he'd take that shit and run. Wake up, y'all. God gave us immune systems for, oh, hey, this is the anti-COVID shit. Yep. It's awesome. God gave us immune systems for a reason. Would it surprise you to know, Nick, that the vaccine works in uh, collaboration with our immune system? That's why it works. So, because... You don't have to catch a virus because God uh, apparently gave you an immune system. Right. You fucking weirdo. I don't trust the government and neither should you. Guys, wake up. The devil is using this virus to segregate the church from the vaccinated and the unvaccinated. Okay, this is the devil's work. God forbid they sit in different aisles. Like, bro, they're still doing church together. Wake up. And let's not forget that these shots are not FDA approved. They're only authorized for emergency use. Is that part of Jesus' talking points? Or is he... That seems like a... That has nothing to do with Jesus. It's kind of worrying me. He's straying from the path of God. You see, if it was FDA approved, it would have to go under testing right here. But since it's used for emergency use, there is no testing procedure. We are okay. Uh, Big Nick PhD. It's been approved now, so I wonder if he got vaccinated, or if he just moved the goalpost again. He's got a chart, dude. Did you see that? Yeah, that chart's pretty fire. I gotta say. The test. The question, everything. Scripture tells us not to be deceived, so I'm warning you now. Do not let any man deceive you. God gave us immune systems for a reason. Guys, wait. Yeah, so the... Wake the, up, sheeple. The immune system is incredible, you know. If you want a reason to believe in God, it's amazing how we can put in dead cells that teaches our immune system how to attack the virus when it comes in. It's a miracle. That's a fucking miracle, bro. Not getting sick and dying of the plague. That ain't no miracle. That's how you lose faith in God. You say, how is this possible? How could God let 700,000 people die? You know, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> it's like so stupid. It's actually just infuriating. Like, you want to talk about proof of God? Explain to a child how both of her parents or his parents died of COVID and now they're a fucking orphan because they didn't get a vaccine. Dumbass. Proof of God. Thank you. Things Christians should avoid. This is interesting. This is good advice. Uh, take notes, guys, please. 120,000 likes. Cussing. Alrighty. Fuck you. Fuck. Listening to worldly music. You fucking kidding me, bro. <laughs> worldly music? It's against God. What does that even mean? Like, like He's on that Kanye beat. He's on the same wave. Okay, let me listen. Cause, okay, they say don't listen to worldly music. No cussing. The Bible was written in like ancient Israel, right? Supposedly in that area, the Middle East. Mm, let's just go with it. So you're talking specifically about like wor unworldly music when the time this was written was probably like Arabic. Uh, Arabic music. I think he just means pop music, like as we know it today. Oh, is that what he means? Yeah. Worldly? Were you thinking like world music? Like, well, I'm I'm assuming when they say don't listen to worldly music, it means listen to what's local here that we know. <laughs> yeah, pure. no, I think he means it, it, it's the same meaning as uh, when he said secular music as opposed to spiritual Jesus uh, Jesus music. Music, yeah. Okay, cool, killing it. We've got actually some really good ones coming up. Um. Owning the pro-choice lives. He's, of course, against abortion. I've got a lot of respect for gay lesbian people that have the courage to come out. That, oh, this. what's wrong with this? Nothing. It's from 2016. This is to show a contrast of... Uh... Oh, so 2016, it was cool to be gay. And then... Is there one that contrasts that? Owning the libs pro-choice. Abortion is health care. No. no. 
Last time I checked, murder doesn't start with an H. Okay. You got us again. That's that's airtight. Murder animals. <laughs> Here he goes on an anti-feminist <laughs> rant. The, yeah, the problem is he deleted all the really inflammatory stuff, but here. yeah, or got bopped off of TikTok. Spiritual and psychological warfare into why the feminist movement is demonic. Are you serious? Feminist movement. You see, the feminist movement was actually funded by Luciferians that were working Can't in the CIA, serious, and this was to make women think that they are not equal to man. Where the Bible clearly states that men and women are equal, they just serve different functions and purposes. So the feminist movement sells this lie that men are better than. Look, women, women and men are equal. They just got to do what the fuck I tell them. They got to serve their narrow pur purpose that I define for them. Feminism is win no blow job. <laughs> take it from Tim Pool. <laughs> then women and women need to take back their authority and they need to dominate men in every aspect possible. But you see, this goes against biology and that. scripture. The feminist movement actually channels a demonic spirit called the Jezebel spirit, which is a very manipulative, dominant spirit that wants to completely dominate their husband. Whereas the Bible makes it very clear that a woman must submit to their husband the same way their husband submits to Christ. So if you're a Christian, okay, that's and cool. So you say loyal to Christ, your wife stays loyal to you. Luckily for the husband, nobody's asking him to fillet them. <laughs> that chain, that chain of authority is a little broken. With this whole feminist movement, I just want to let you know you can't serve two masters. You have to make a decision if you're going to serve God or if you're Don't going to serve Satan. It's that simple. Words. What is the spiritual and psychological warfare? In These people that get so deep in the Bible, it's just so interesting to me. Like how you can, can like there's people in Israel who are these devout Torah, the government pays them to study. They don't have to serve in the military and they spend all day reading Torah. And it's like, I don't know how you can spend your whole life in one book, interpreting, reinterpreting a book that's by, by, you know, historical accounts, mostly fiction. Um, <gasps> okay. Let's say it's, let's say it's real. I mean, <gasps> it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just how do you spend your whole life rereading the same fucking pages and trying to extract meaning like people have been studying this book for 2000 years you don't think they've figured it out by now we don't need more bible research <laughs> we don't I, people have read that book enough dude it's you know what i'm saying it's done it's played out bible's played out it, it's so fucking played out move on here's a pro trump tiktok which we love you know we stand a moral king like Trump, a, the good Christian boy. <laughs> First president ever to acknowledge needed you know, Christ. You still need help from the boss. You know, you need help from you the know Donald's an atheist, right? Donald doesn't give a fuck about Christianity. Uh, he just wants your vote. So powerful, man. Yeah, we need help. It's all right to say. Now, they'll criticize me for that. How dare he say that? How dare he say that? No, I'll say it. <laughs> this is so I'll cheesy. What is his reaction? I'll say it. Well, that's 60,000 likes. Somebody said to me the other day, you're the most famous person in the world by far. I said, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. He said, yes, you are. I said, no. He said, who's more famous? I said, Jesus Christ. Oh. Well, and also John Lennon and uh, <laughs> Mozart and uh, uh, Hitler is probably more famous. Stalin. We like to troll. <laughs> I mean, these are dead people. He's not alive. That's my point. I'm everything you can do. Waiting want for him to say Big Nick. Big Nick. Shout out to Big Nick. Here's a wait. Oh, and then that's funny because before his conversion, he was against Trump. Who voted Trump? Shake my head. Wait, no, this is pro-Trump. He said, Donald Trump, a piece of crap. So, shout-outs. Yeah, he had a lot of really anti-Semitic stuff, but it's gone. The, the trans thing was, was very bad. Let me just surf his TikTok. Let's see. Let's find the pop the boppers. 
This one is three three point three million. That's him crying. People don't watch yeah, his music. Spurred all of this. This one has uh, six hundred thousand views. Stay from secular music. A lot of this music we is actually that. using free. Yeah, we heard that one. It was good. Street preaching. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those that are crushed in spirit. Anyone who's had a broken heart, anyone who's been feel like their their spirit's been crushed, they've been through pain, depression, they've been cheated on, they've been backstabbed. It's because of you the know, music. They've had people abandon them in their life that they grew up with. The, the Lord even listen to the wrong frequency. And he wants to heal you guys. When you have that broken heart, it's like what else is there? You know, I've tried everything myself, and I didn't know what else there was in life until I tried Jesus. It was you know, and by the way, just to make clear, I'm not. If people want to be go good with Jesus and it helps them in their life. I think that's fantastic. I love it. If you found meaning in your life through religion, beautiful. What sucks is that it turned you into a fucking bigot. Anti-vax, anti-trans, anti-gay. You're just a bigot now, dude. It rotted your brain. Decision I ever made. It was a decision that's going to carry me on from this life to the next. Okay, whatever. Human pig hybrid. Interesting, big Nick. This is the reality for people who die without Jesus. They go to hell, and hell is a real place. What and is we this, don't want anyone to go of... there. Let's see what the Bible has to say. How fucked up are you in the head? You think this is what hell is? Like, dude, where did this video come from? <laughs> are you question. seeing this? Yeah. It is so graphic. I'm going to have to skip that. It's just demons hacking you up to pieces and in a pool of blood. And f Damn, bro. Fucking sick. Mark 9:43. Jesus says, "If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed than with two hands to go into hell, where the fire never goes out." Jesus isn't saying for you to cut off your arm, but he's saying that the Sounds severity like of was. physical injury is a lot less worse than the severity of eternal destruction in hell. So, what's the good news in all of this? I'm glad you asked. The good news is that you can literally say yes to Jesus right now, repent of your sins, and be saved. Me and Gabe are going to be preaching in downtown Fort Worth at the yes. Water Gardens. All the details. Yes. Anyway. Ah, there it is. Shout out Big Nick. Shout out to Big Nick. I feel like we're missing some really good ones. Here's one with this one. This country is doomed. It is doomed, not just because of African Americans, but because by 20... That's got to be edited, right? This country I'm out, is Nick. doomed. Good luck with your new shit. Cap Cap! Ryan Kavanaugh, this guy just keeps getting weirder and weirder. So now... He's he's arguing. Oh, well, the love baited him, by the way. I mean, this is Ryan Kavanaugh arguing with people in the comments of Instagram about me, uh, and love baited him. Uh, <laughs> love said <laughs> the, he, Ryan made some post about personalities. I don't know. So love came in. He said, "There's some. This is something I keep in my mind every time I meet a person. Have you heard about the Sugma rule?" Ryan says he and Ryan added you. As direct response, he yeah. says, I have the third personality type. Love it. And you said, Sug my dick. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you. I wish he said. Uh, Got him. Like, what is Sugma? It's yeah, funnier yeah. when he says, yeah, but I just hit him with it anyway. Pretty good you baited him, though. And here he is again. Yeah. Someone just said, Keemstar, shut up. And Ryan goes, What does Keemstar have to do with this? That to me proves that they've had interactions. Like, why else would he respond? He, and the guy didn't even tag him. He tagged Keemstar. He goes, I wish H3 Productions would stop flooding my Insta with his hate paid posts and fake foot soldiers. Does he have anything better to do with his time? Bro, I'm here working all day. What am I, what am I getting a bot net? What do you net? think we do for a living, dude? Talk to Shoe Nice. I don't, I don't know how to do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think that really was a self-report. That is, was such a weird comment. Yeah, yeah. It is. Well, we know for sure, allegedly, for sure, allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, for sure. Allegedly. Allegedly, we don't know for sure. What I'm saying is we know for sure that it's alleged. It is for sure alleged. It is for sure been alleged. I can alleged. confirm that it is for sure alleged. Yeah. Well, Allegedly. So by we're multiple for, parties, by the way. Allegedly. We're for sure alleging that Ryan... I showed that, that Ryan, to you, Ethan, but a, another one of those uh, people that work the uh, the like farms reached out to me. Oh, for real? Said they also got Ryan Kavanaugh stuff. Yeah. So that's two. So that's two allegers. We are that's for sure allegers. alleging that Ryan buys... Bots, he likes. is a ledger. So it's funny that he accused me of doing that. Doing anything better to do? Clearly, I'm not engaging with him. You are though. Look at you. And even though he is lying about me suing him, I have never sued him, nor am I the CEO of Triller, nor do I control Triller. Bro, you're such a fucking weird liar. Like, He's not the CEO of Triller. That's actually true. Wait, I saw I I saw him say I watched it in an interview. 
They introduced he him. He controls at, Triller, but he's not the CEO. If you look it up right now, it's some other dude. Okay, I saw an interview where they introduced him as the CEO of Triller. But he has a controlling interest, and every yeah. article you read is like a fucking... Comp- it's his thing, for sure. He's just... Ryan he's the, I think he's the CEO of the parent company. Of, or, of or Proximity. Of company. Proxima, yeah, so whatever. everything he does has to do with Triller. His Triller Fight Club. How Triller became Ryan Kavanaugh's big comeback. Why are you lying, you freak? Trump, Triller, and the return of Ryan Kavanaugh. Wow. It's almost like they go hand in hand. Some dude named Mike Liu is the CEO. Of Wait, Triller. so I think this is the one where he introduced him as the CEO. Damon Martin MMA fighting here with the CEO of Triller. The man. There you go. La- ladies and gentlemen. He inter- he's introduced as the CEO of Triller. And I guess what? Be- he didn't Damon correct Martin him. Damon Martin MMA fighting here with go. the CEO Listen, that's pretty good. of Triller. The man who will be promoting <laughs> the upcoming fight between Vitor Belfort and Oscar De La Hoya. Not to mention the newly announced right fight. Right between a pair of UFC legends, Anderson Silva, looking Sola, way more Ortiz, and out welcome in today. than I've ever <laughs> seen him Kavanaugh, before. Ryan, you know that you? I'm the skeptic, but... I'm doing great. No correction! Yeah. He, the man introduced him as CEO of Triller, you fucking creep. Yep. You liar, bitch. <laughs> Clearly not engaged... Yeah. Clearly not engaging with him, even though he's lying about me suing him. Bitch, you're such a liar. You're literally named in the lawsuit that it's a defamation that we said... You look like Harvey Weinstein. Why, why is that in the lawsuit? Would you like to explain how's that defamation, Ryan, if you're not involved in this lawsuit? Freak. Even though he's lying about me suing him, I have not ever sued him, nor am I the CEO of Triller, nor do I control Triller. Liar. He's about to get slapped so hard by the legal system for what he's doing, he won't know what hit him. Okay, let's see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see who gets There'll slapped. There'll be a slap, all right. Yeah. yeah. An anti-slap. Exactly. <laughs> Did you see Ryan's response to love? Bro. He responded to the suck my dick? Yeah, he did. Oh. Yeah. It's in the chat. In the Discord. Wait, not what we just read? Were you, like, zoned out again? Oh, Listen. yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, so he says, and again, <laughs> at love, of course the rude comment comes from a self-proclaimed H3 bot. Is that proof he's, <laughs> he's a fan of the show? No. <laughs> well, I don't know. Or is that what he, he actually is H3? an H3 bot? He's the only H3 bot. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's he's just calling everyone who leaves a comment a bot. I know, it's just but that's awesome. Like, well, Seems like he's a fan. Love's no, no, profile no, no, says love bot. It says H3 love bot. So he clicked your profile and fire. actually looked yeah. at it. <laughs> Dude, who's yeah. got time? Who? You tell me who's got time. You're clicking on all the haters' profiles. <laughs> he didn't <laughs> block me or anything. What a weird. I'm, just, I'm not blocked. You're not blocked? No. Well, I think he kind of liked it, honestly. <laughs> it was the first real it. interaction he'd had in months. He must have like a... Uh, All the rest of his comments are bots. <laughs> it's the only non-bot in his That's comments. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, Ooh, He must have a like... A he must real have comment. A, um, like a slave kink or like a... Pun- uh, a s- <laughs> what is what? it? Uh, he's got a kink where he gets dominated. He's the oh, guy. like a humiliation. Yeah, exactly. Fetish? He has a he, he has a humiliation fetish. Yeah, maybe that's but possible. That's the only thing to explain. This is speculation. I mean, Parody. a guy a guy like this definitely likes his cock stomp stomped on by the edge of a stiletto. Definitely, maybe we're speculating. <laughs> by the way, look at that like dislike ratio. Let me help out a little bit. I'm gonna come. And then here again in the description, Triller co-founder Ryan Kavanaugh. Right, I mean, he did. Well, well, the did f- he co-found it? It says here, it's a CEO and co-founder. I mean, what the fuck you want from me, bro? Top comment, is this the guy that was accused of running a Ponzi scheme by his ex-partner? Yes, it was. <laughs> wow, I can't believe this guy is running Triller. He can't even pay his nanny. Good observation. Who refused to pay their nanny? Who faked Me Too accusations against their own executive? Triller Who- was launched in 2015 by co-founders David Lieberman and Sammy Rubin. He is not the founder of Triller. Well, There's so much fucking like disinformation about <laughs> Triller out there. It's what? crazy. And he I mean, like you said, he didn't correct him or like Exactly. He he's the face of Triller, let's face it. Yeah, in twenty nineteen Ryan Kavanaugh's Proxima Media made a majority investment. And yeah, he he he's he's not necessarily the CEO, but it's his show. The Triller show. Who refused to pay their nanny? Who faked me? Two accusations against their own executive. Who was accused by ex-partner Ryan Ponzi scheme? Ryan Kavanaugh. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Wait, it literally says on his YouTube channel that he's the co-founder. 
Okay, <laughs> thank you, Ryan Cavanaugh. You stupid asshole. Don't you dare defame me in your comments. Let's go to his... See, I can't even get to his YouTube channel. It's all us. Wait, here's a... Okay, here he is. I thought that was Harvey, I swear to God. Um, I, I really did. Ryan Ka this is his channel, confirmed. We know this is his channel. Here's the description he wrote. Ryan Cavanaugh is an L.A.-based entrepreneur, film industry veteran. That's a nice way of saying a bankrupted and ruined fucking <laughs> failed businessman. A philanthropist and co-founder of Triller. Motherfucker wrote that. Yeah, I think he... This is on TechCrunch, which is pretty reliable about, like, tech news and stuff. And they say co-founder well, David Lieberman. Well, Ryan's saying he's the co-founder. Yeah, he's not mentioned in this article, and this was, this is an article from 2016, Ryan didn't become involved until 2019, so I don't know what he founded exactly. He founded that if he starts shit with me, he's gonna fucking catch these hands. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Metaphorically. Metaphorical hands. And in Minecraft. The, in the court of law. And Minecraft. Yeah, so Ryan keeps fucking up, you know, he's trying, he's trying to, to talk shit, he's trying to lie about me. And most of all, he's paying people, he's allegedly paying people to write mean comments about me. Specifically <laughs> in his Instagram comment section. It doesn't get better than that, folks. It does not get better than that. Yeah, but his LinkedIn says that he founded Triller Fight Club. Okay. Which is their boxing division. And he's listed as the principal for... Triller from 2019 on. Yeah, he didn't fucking found Triller. Like, why does he say that in his bio? Because it's it's stolen valor. He likes it. It's stolen valor. He, You're he, right. He uses it when when it makes him sound important. And then when he's getting sued, he he says, "I have nothing to do with Triller." Right. When to try to make it look like I'm lying. Like you can't have your cake and eat it too. Just own that you are the co-founder of a app that is going to fucking make you bankrupt twice over. What would uh? What would Ja Rule call that? Ja Rule. I would call that a uh, fraud. Not my words, Ja Rule's. <laughs> Let's think of how to dig ourselves out of this fraud. It tastes so bad. <laughs> All right. How long have we been going? Eh? We're, getting, we're coming up on three hours pretty okay. soon. Okay, I'm having here. a lot of fun here today. I'm all fucked up on Benadryl. <laughs> well, good. My face is messed up. Is there uh, food here? Uh, a few minutes away. Let's see if there's anything else we can throw up here in the meantime. Elon Musk, I'm so fucking over this guy. You know, got a lot of balls, dude. We must demand that extremely wealthy pay their fair share, period. I keep forgetting you're still alive, he said. It's like awesome, epic means, bro. The best response I saw of this is Elon Musk talking to his newborn baby <laughs> while he's doing epic My memes My favorite on was uh, uh, a Tesla to a person in a crosswalk. I <laughs> love that. <laughs> you know, Elon Musk making all this hubbub that he like paid five billion in taxes. Okay, five percent of three hundred is uh, about five percent. One and a half percent. Five okay. percent means everything. I pay fifty percent, cocksucker. Again, I hate to to denigrate the cocksuckers because we love them, but. <laughs> It's actually an AB's job description, as Tim Poole inquired. <laughs> we call him ABC. <laughs> you know what C stands for? Yeah. <laughs> cock. Is that what you're? Yes, Dan. Is that what you're yeah. implying? Yeah. yeah. Cock. Thank you. cock. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Yeah. Cock. ABC always be cocking. I don't know. Clucking, like a chicken head. That's what they say. <laughs> always be clucking. Mm. Oh, we'll think of something. God, <laughs> we'll come back. I don't know what's your take on this. I mean, he's just such a douche. He sucks. Bro. You're the richest man in the world, posting epic memes on Twitter, trying to be relatable. And by the way, Bernie Sanders, like he's a fucking. A he deserves a little respect. I mean, I mean, Elon can be a dick if he wants to be a dick, and you know. Whatever. I doubt, it, I doubt it bothered Bernie as much as it did a no, lot of, of other people. No, of course not. Bernie's, you know a king. I mean? Bernie's a king. He doesn't he's acknowledge his He's probably not even on Twitter. That's like some fucking intern that's tweeting that, so. 
I wish Bernie would come back on him like AOC would have. Clap back, epic clap back. Alive and still selling his snake oil from one of his four houses to 20 year old social studies majors. Uh, he hit him with that crying, laughing. Oh, I am crying. Rolling I'm emoji. Rolling on the floor. Someone else. The federal budget deficit is 2.7 trillion. Guys, this is pretty fucked. The pay your fair share thing is kind of a distraction because you can't find 2.7 million in revenue. You know why we can't find 2.7 million oh, in revenue? Because God. people like Elon Musk are not paying their taxes. And How also, is he co-signing this? It's like this is like high-level lobbying that the Koch brothers do by him just tweeting. He's literally convincing broke, fucking destitute, hopeless people that not taxing Elon Musk is in their interest. How is that possible? Just because Elon Musk can't single-handedly pay off $2.7 trillion in debt that we shouldn't fucking think about taxing him is insane. It's actually insane. Uh, fuck you, dude. Uh, yeah, we, we wouldn't be in so much debt if you and all your contemporary billionaires were actually paying their tax. Imagine that. I think it's only fair that Bernie Sanders supply an internalized list to Elon Musk and all taxpaying citizens explain where the government intend to allocate his $15 billion. Wasteful... Sp I, I, what has that got to do with Elon? Sure, I would like a breakdown, too. Elon still needs to pay his fucking money. Just because I don't like that my taxes go to, you know, Afghanistan doesn't mean that I get to dodge paying my 50% in taxes. The same rules have to apply to Elon Musk. And then, of course, Elon being a pathetic fucking... He's just trying to convince all these stands that he doesn't need to pay taxes. He gives them a thumbs up, even though this point has nothing to do with Elon paying taxes at all. He's such a disappointment. I used to like him. You know? It makes it hard to support him. Uh, I guess that's it. That's it. Any of these TikToks worth reviewing? And eh, whatever. Not really. I got a pee. <laughs> well, it was a great show, guys. A few things. Remember, teddyfresh.com. Black Friday sale is live and roaring. Uh, Looney Tunes this Thursday, 10 a.m. Uh, members, please consider becoming a member. We love our members. We love our members. Love you get folks. videos a day early and an exclusive BTS every week. The last one did great on people loved it. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you, AB. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully more to come. So please consider being a member. Thank you. Do you want to read out some super chats or anything before we go, Dan? Sure. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, ABC, always be cucking. There you go. Always be cucking. Ah, oh, come um, on. Let's see. This was about Big Nick. What frequency are Big Nick songs? Can, is there oh, a way to analyze oh, that? Oh, interesting. Can we? F is there a way to do that, Z uh, Zach? I mean, yeah. We pull it in. Yeah, and let's, do a little analysis. let's check the, the frequency. Somebody donated 50 bucks and said, I was unemployed for a while after being laid off. My saddest loss was my H3 membership. Mm -hmm. I now have my dream job. And I'm celebrating by being a member again. Cheers to you guys for getting me through this tough time. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Juana. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Love you. Peace and love. Uh, there was a couple other... Here, let me scroll up a little bit. Because there was a couple big boys that I wanted to read out. Uh, uh, Jake donated a hundred dollars. Dearest Papa, this is my second one hundred dollar donation. Wow, almost as much as you graciously have give gave me. Oh, oh wait, Jake, <laughs> didn't we? We gave him money for something. We gave him money. Yeah. Was he the photographer? Oh, for he's a... literally saying I gave him money. Yes. Right. Okay. I'm on tour with Curtis Connor right now. Uh, right, right, right. Okay. I remember this us? story. He was a caller that got screwed. Oh, by, he got scammed by. Yeah. The and you ended up giving him the money. Who that, scammed him? It was the D'Amelios, right? Oh, the D'Amelios D fucked him, and I gave him a yeah. thousand bucks. That's right. Got it. Shout out. Not the name looked familiar. Thank you, bro. Shout outs. 
Uh, I'm going to email you again and again for an opportunity to work together. Okay. <laughs> keep it, I guess, keep emailing. I'll take BTS photos for free. By the way, this um, is... Well, thank you for the donation, Jake. Ethan um, is the Michael Jordan of podcasting. This will be known as the Flu Podcast. Right. Michael and Scotty, baby. Hold me. Oh, I wish I had seen this when we were talking about Nick. Nick is literally wrong. He's saying Sodom and Gomorrah was a city. It was two cities. He isn't even reading the Bible well. That's a good point. <laughs> Very well stated. Here's, um, Ethan, this is, this is really interesting. Avex donated $5, said, did you know that the CEO of Triller, Ryan Kavanaugh, was accused by his ex-partner of running a Ponzi scheme? Okay, wait. Let me look into that. Because I had heard that before, but I'm not totally sure on the details of that. Mm -hmm. So, if everyone could just Google Ryan Kavanaugh Ponzi scheme, spend some time on the website, <laughs> that'd be good. That'd be fantastic. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, Five dollars uh, from Andrew. Dan, the type of guy to pretend to know nothing of Taylor Swift, but cries at every song. Hmm. Yeah, you got me. Big Swifty over here. <laughs> he has a point. Something interesting. Dan, the there. type of guy to tell kids to get off their phones and go outside. Mm, interesting. It's what really do you think not. about that? I gotta say, I I I don't say this to be a hater, but like in all of these. When this was like a meme on the channel and everybody was like, AB the type of guy, Ethan the type of guy. I love it. Mine, I love it. Mine suck. You guys don't know. Like, I've literally seen like <laughs> one that was like, made me laugh. I was like, oh, they got me well, on that see. one. You're, I'm not that type of guy. Now. I'm really not. I, I would never, I spend all of my time inside. By the way, I just got a donation from Holly uh, Therese. Thank you for the donation. She said, um, Big Nick, in the Bible it says no markings on your body. Big Nick has tattoos. Oh, fuck. He's going to hell. There's a there's a video where he addresses his tattoos, or he addresses why they're a sin. I can find that. Oh, so know. he acknowledges sin. Yeah, he acknowledges okay. it. Okay, good. So he's living with sin like the rest of us. Loser. People saying that that's the joke. It's not, though. Because sometimes it's like like Ethan floating through the air on the, on the smell of a pie. I mean, that, like, that... I've seen him do that. Like, that's funny. That, like, nails it. Dan the hater! <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good Dan is the type of guy right now. Dan the type of guy to get made at bad type of guy comparisons. I think your typo kind of fucked that one up. Sorry, Kevin. Um, Ethan, do you still have your Royce? If so, do you have the black badge? No, I don't. The black badge is like some even crazier version of the Colonin, which I don't know what's the difference, but it's like $600,000. I just got a used one off the lot. I just went there with Trisha for that one video and bought, got a, a leased one off the lot that is used. It's a black one. And uh, yes, it's my, it's my drive. It's my car. It's my, my commute. I had another car that I returned because I was like, I don't want to have two cars. I don't have like 10 cars in my driveway like Trisha. So I returned them all. <laughs> Dan, the type of guy to say he's not that guy. Oh, there you go. I'm not that. No, you're not. Oh, but I literally just did. I'm not. And that this guy. was much earlier. They they didn't say this in reaction to Here's what one. I just Dan said. Dan is the type of guy to sit when he pees. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting, right? <laughs> Dan, the type of guy to secretly like the Big Bang Theory. Oh, fuck no. That's comp that never, ever, ever. Hmm. You sure? At least the sit while it, the pee thing is, at least that one's funny. Here, Andrew donated, Dan the type of guy to order and tie food on a Saturday night with his cat instead of fully sending it. Instead of what? Fu I guess going out and partying. You're half sender. Half sender. Oh, instead of full sending. I mean, that one's fairly accurate. I Dan, like food. Dan, let me think here. There you go. Anyways, let's fucking wrap this shit up. There's food here. I got to pee so bad. We got lunch. <laughs> well, thank you guys all for being here. It's been a, an awesome Monday, as usual. Uh, we'll be back, as usual, on Thursday, Wednesday for members. There's a new Leftovers up. If you're looking for something to watch in the meantime, take a look at that. Came out yesterday. And uh, until we see you next time, peace and love.
from the H3 Podcast.